What is up my friends? You are very welcome along to our last watch along before the international break. The Reds travel to Old Trafford to take on Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United in a quarter final of the FA Cup. How are we all doing? We good? Hope you had a lovely weekend up until this point and fingers crossed it's going to get a little bit better. Uh, come on boys, 3-1 win, Dorsey brace, I beg, said Kieran Lorrigan, first suit Lorrigan, excuse me Kieran, first uh, membership message of the day, where where are we? I'm uh, I'm still not awake, I, I need another 15 guys, I'm going to ease myself into today's festivities and um, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend so far. Right, team news is in, it is confirmed, I can say that it is Kelleher in goal. Right back, Joe Gomez. Left back, Andy Robertson. Virgil van Dijk and Jarrell Kwanzaa are your centre-back pairing for today. In midfield, Watoro Endo, Dominic Soboslai and Alexis McAllister. Up top, it is Mohamed Salah, Lucho Diaz and Darwin. I'm about to bag me a couple of goals at Old Trafford. Nunes. Ah, yes. What a day. Can't wait, honestly. And the good news, we're going to keep you guys up to date with the draw as well afterwards and the match reaction should Liverpool progress, of course. And yes, happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you. Just, um, it's not really a big deal here in Ireland, though. In all honesty, it isn't. But happy St. Patrick's Day to you all nonetheless. And look, my friends, as you can see, we are also being brought to you today with thanks to our friends at Manscaped. Don't forget, you can get yourself 20% off and free shipping. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com by using our discount code ANFIELD20, as you can see on the screen. And you may not have noticed, but you may also have top left corner. Look at that. 101. That's all we need. 101 subscribers until we hit the magical 250,000. And you know what? I could not think of a better game for us to hit this milestone at. So let's make that happen today. So yeah, how are we all doing? Predictions, let me know in the chat. Are you uh, confident? I mean, Ben was Ben was trying to give it to Big and behind the scenes. I won't lie to you. He was feeling a bit ballsy today, thinking that they're somehow going to win. They're not going to win. It's not going to happen. It's okay to be confident, folks. Don't be ashamed of it. Going to Old Trafford as the favourites, nothing wrong with it. Bookies have us as, well, 7-2 to two for United to win at home, which is shocking. And they have us odds on 8-13 to 13 to win. So the bookies are believing it's going to be a Liverpool win. I believe it's going to be a Liverpool win. And I think most of you believe it's going to be a Liverpool win as well. The poll certainly indicates that. Looking at it now, 94% of you guys so far voting for a Liverpool win. 6% for a United win. And who would have thought Jens and Shane could have made up 6%? There you go. How are we, gents, by the way? I'm sure you're both watching. 2-1 United said, my nephew Lely. No, no, not going to happen, mate. But it's, you know, you're allowed to predict whatever you like. That's okay. That's This is a democracy. Uh, six one is what David Coughlin. I'm I'm gonna go three one. I feel like we'll do a three one, and uh, as I sit here now, eighty eight minutes thirty eight seconds. It's still Chelsea two, Leicester two. Chelsea doing their best to avoid another day at Wembley. They were two nil up, and then boom, all of a sudden two two. Did you see the own goal? Oh my days! If you haven't seen the Sassy's own goal yet, you're in for a treat. Jen, thank you, Jen. Gifting five and fill the Jen the memberships. Really, really appreciate that, Jen. Am I bright enough? I feel like I could do will have been a little bit brighter on the screen. One second. Let me just set my camera settings up here. Do do do. Gonna make Craig a little bit brighter. Yeah, I feel like that works a bit better. Smidgen better. Uh, George said, one kiss is all it takes. The missus has predicted 5 nil. There you go. One view is all it takes to fall in love with Craig. There you go. Possibilities. One view is all you need. I uh, hope you're doing well, Craig. I'm feeling a 3 nil win today. Uh, I Look, I'm confident. And it's okay to be confident. Lots of people think we're arrogant. It's, 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 we're not arrogant. We're confident. We're going to Old Trafford thinking we should win. Now, the big question that we all haven't asked yet so far today is, will we see Mohamed Salah's 8-pack today? That's the big question, because we know Mo loves to get them out at Old Trafford. And will we see it again today? I have a feeling we might, you know. I'm going for a 3-1 victory, said their Wizzy Believer. Uh, Diaz 2 and Joe Gomez 1. There you go. I love it. We'll get this Joe Gomez goal eventually, won't we? Surely it has to happen before Kloppo departs. Uh, 
Mark on the crap channel thinks Man United will win 1-0, said Inger Driving School Instructors. Now, again, that's not me having a pop at anybody. I'm merely reading out a super chat. Yeah, that, let's see how long that 1-0 win lasts. Um, uh, look, if I was a United fan, I'd be back in a United win. You'd have to. But here in reality, let's be honest, it's going to be a Liverpool victory. We're going to be dancing. We're going to be singing. We're going to be talking about another date at Wembley. And we also know a couple of things are going to happen. Manchester City will, of course, draw Coventry. And it'll end up with Liverpool and Chelsea in the other semi-final, most likely. Uh, Hoyland or Nunes? That's the most silly question I've been asked so far today. How can we even start to put Hoyland on the same platform as Nunes? Hoy I like Hoyland. I've said this many times. I think United have a good player on their hands there. But he's done nothing yet. Nothing to indicate that he's to be spoken about alongside our boy Darwin. But look, I do rate him. As I've said this, I'm not here to knock Hoyland. I think he'll be a decent signing for United. 2-0 uh, Liverpool, Darwin with two overhead kicks. Chelsea have just scored the winner, by the way. Chelsea have just scored the winner. 3-2, so they will be booking their place in the semi-final. And, of course, we'll probably get drawn against them. Heaven forbid we got a handy draw, you know. When is the draw? It's after the game, mate. After our game. So it looks like it's going to be Coventry, Man City and Chelsea. Lovely. Did you see that adorable little Chelsea fan there? Genuinely. I don't know if you guys seen it. There was a lovely little young lad with a big beaming smile on his face. Delighted that Chelsea just scored the winner. And that is what football is all about. Lovely moment there. Hope that young man gets, uh, gets a little reminder of that. Or a little uh, clip made of him because he was uh, adorable. Coventry's in the house. Harmon, how are we, mate? Appreciate you being with us. Thank you. Uh, DL's going to be magic on the wing, said Julian Bacara. I hope so. Look, I'm happy with the team. Team, team strong. Uh, let's have a look at the Liverpool bench, by the way, as well, because we haven't yet gone through the Liverpool bench. Adrian, Bobby Clark, Harvey Elliott, Cody Gakpo, Ryan Gravenberg, Connor Bradley, Costa Simicus, James McConnell, and Rhythm is a Dancer is your Liverpool bench. Is Grav back? Yep. He's on the bench, Daryl. He's on the bench. So, Canade not fit, but ready for the friendlies. I don't know. Why hammer? I don't know. But, let, like, let's not be starting off on a negative again today, lads. Let's be positive. What we know is what we have. And what we have should be more than good enough to beat Manchester United. Let's be honest. I think it goes like this. United start off showing a little bit of fight. And then we score a goal. We bury that fight. Crowd starts turning, Liverpool get confident, we play around and we beat them easily. That's what I think happens today and it's okay to say that. I'm not expecting us to go out there and beat United 4-0, 5-0 or anything like that. But I do think we'll beat them at a canter and we'll be uh, comfortable by a couple of goals by the end of the game. That's my prediction for today. Liz, how are we? Uh, WFM, happy beat Manchester United day. We'll take that, Liz. Absolutely. My friends, it is a mere... Five days until we take to the stage in Boston. So if you haven't got your tickets yet, we're going to be over in Boston next Friday at the Citizens House of Blues in the foundation room downstairs. If you want to come and see us, don't forget you can get your tickets either at Ticketmaster or with the link in the description. And also, we're about to put together a set of shows for August. Yes, you heard me right. We're going to put together a set of live shows for uh, the build-up to the start of the new Premier League campaign as well. So I'll keep you informed on that as the stream goes on. 250k today. Keep hitting that button, said Teddy. Yes, please do keep hitting that button. And look, we wouldn't be able to be here today without our amazing friends. And I know that I wasn't live yesterday, but I know that you're also thinking about the Easter Bunny again, weren't you? You filthy little feckers. Thinking about the Easter Bunny and does he... Shave his nether regions. Or is it a he or a she? I don't know. Is the Easter Bunny a male? I don't know. Maybe I'm an equal opportunist Easter Bunny lover. Uh, but I have it on good authority that the Easter Bunny does indeed use the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra from our friends at Manscaped. It's designed to elevate your grooming game and shine like the bunny-loving enthusiast that I know that you are. Join myself and the 10 million other men worldwide who choose Manscaped as their male grooming partner. Go to manscaped.com and grab yourself 20% off and free shipping. That's 20% off and free shipping with our discount code Anfield20. The fantastic Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra Electric Trimmer features skin safe technology, guarding your family jewels against any grooming mishaps. And we've all had them. Let's be honest, gents. We've all had them. Uh, it also features Manscaped's brightest ever LED spotlight. 
perfect for the precise grooming even in the trickiest spots and it is of course as you would expect waterproof and for all my bearded kings out there manscape brings you the beard hedger pro kit designed to effortlessly scape uh, shape and sculpt your cheek lines as well as maintaining your beard style so get 20 percent off and free shipping at manscape.com 20 percent off and free shipping with our code anfield 20 right west ham 2 villa nil wow does nobody want the champions league spots wow that's crazy so we had spurs getting whooped three nil yesterday by fulham and now today we have Villa getting beaten 2-0 by West Ham. Nobody wants to be in the Champions League. United fans, are you getting a bit excited now? Because that gap is shrinking. And you're not even playing this weekend in the league, Man United fans. And they're already uh, doing your favour. So there you go. Someone else is saying 1-0, no goal. So it's still 1-0. But still, they're losing. Just to confirm that, we had confirmation in the chat. Goal being ruled out. It is still just one but it is Aston Villa 1, or excuse me, nil. West Ham 1. So either way, Villa look like they don't want to be in the uh, Champions League. And Spurs yesterday, Defo look like they don't want to be in the Champions League. But you know who will be in the Champions League? Will be in the Champions League. And I can't wait for it. it felt, it's been a weird season this year, looking at the Champions League, kind of longingly, let's be honest, and thinking, God, we could have done damage in there. But we'll have to go win the Europa League instead. 15 minutes uh, to go until we're half an hour away. So 45 minutes to kick off. I don't know why I said 15 minutes to go. As if my brains think of the games at three. But 45 minutes to go until we are underway. Still plenty of time to get your thoughts in and help us help us hit to that 250k. Something's behind. And then just want to send a message. One second. Gentlemen, I'm not sure if something is uh, in the background when the image is about to change. There's a blur behind. I don't know if something's overlaying it or something like that. Maybe you guys could have a look-see. 4-2 Chelsea, is it? It's still 3-2 for me, but there must be just about the score right here now. Here we go. Is it? Is it? Oh, a bit of dribbling. Oh, I tell you what. Oh, I tell you what. That's some goal from Badashile. Was it Badashile? Some goal. Yeah, it is. Oh, no, it's Maduke. Sorry, it's Maduke. Wow, what a finish. Top bins. If you haven't seen that, good goal. Credit where it's due. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day, Oren, to you as well, mate. Wherever you guys are celebrating in the world, I hope you are, are having a lovely weekend and I hope it's about to get a little bit better for us Liverpool fans. What's the bench? One second, my friend. I'll get you the bench now. Bench today for Liverpool is Adrian, Bobby Clark, uh, Harvey Elliott, Cody Gakpo, Ryan Gravenberg, Connor Bradley, Costas Chimikas, James McConnell, and Jaden Dans. That is the Liverpool bench today. The Manchester United team, I will read out for you guys now. It's Andre Onana in goal, then Wambasaka, Varane, Lindelof, and Dalot. That's the back four for Eric Ten Hag's side. Midfield, Scott McTominay and Kobe Mainu. Then Garnacho, Fernandez, and Rashford in behind Rasmus Hoyland. So that's the Manchester United starting eleven. Not that uh, we should be overly concerned by it. Thank you. Connor said he fixed whatever that was in the background. Appreciate it. Thank you, Connor. Who's the referee in VAR today? So I want to say John Brooks is the referee off the top of my head, but hoping to be corrected on that. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think John Brooks is the referee, and I'm not sure who's on VAR. So don't, uh, don't hold me to an answer on that one, but I'm sure somebody in the chat, Mark usually knows these things. What's United's formation today? I'm sure at the end of it, one, it'll be the fetal position. Yeah, I'm sure you'll see the 11-0 uh, fetal position for United. That'll be the formation. Every single one of them on the ground crying after Liverpool leave Old Trafford with another victory. So, yeah, there you go. Oh, by the way, I'm uh, going to record a series of videos for the international break and while I'm away over in Boston. We're going to do a getting to know series, although I haven't come up with a name for the series yet. So I'm going to give you all you need to know about Richard Hughes, all you need to know about Michael Edwards, all you need to know about uh, Xabi Alonso, all you need to know about Ruben Amorim. All you need to know about the Aviva Stadium in Dublin and, of course, a celebratory stream to congratulate Mohamed Salah on having seven consecutive seasons 
with uh, 20 goals or more in it. So lots of videos. I'm doing my research at the minute, getting all my tactical bits and pieces done. So I'll give you a full breakdown on what to expect if Ruben Amaram comes in, what to expect if Alonso comes in, and of course, a bit on Richard Hughes and Michael Edwards. So that'll be a series of videos going to be coming out during the week. Right, Mark has given me the list. So what's this one? Uh, what have we got? Officials are... Referee John Brooks, assistant referees Lee Betts and Timothy Wood, fourth official Anthony Taylor, uh, and on VAR is Tim Robinson. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate that. Uh, hi, Craig. Hope you've had a nice weekend. My prediction for today is 3-0 win up the Reds, and also what are your thoughts on the Europa League draw? Um, well, firstly, thank you. I hope you had a nice weekend as well. Prediction for today, I'm going to go 3-1, and my thoughts on the Europa League draw, that we got the easier side. Of the draw, in all honesty, I, I don't think we can deny that. I don't see, um, I don't see anybody at the top half of that draw really doing us any damage. So I think it'll be Liverpool gone through on that side of the draw, and on the other side of the draw, it's quite interesting. I mean, it's a harder side: West Ham, Leverkusen, and AC Milan, Roma. I'm going to predict, and I know this will go against the grain, but I'm going to predict Liverpool, AC Milan in the final. Um, I said that for the last week or two. I'm going to stick to it. City will get Coventry, mark my words. Jacob, my friend, I expect nothing less, bro. I expect nothing less. It'll be probably Liverpool, Chelsea, because we can't play at Wembley, apparently, unless it's against Chelsea. And then it'll be uh, Coventry against City. I expect the exact same. Now, my friends, 83 to go to the big 250. And now, we don't have a celebration graphic or anything. We shared the celebration image in our Discord yesterday. One that we couldn't share publicly because we'd be in trouble for a whole host of reasons. But anybody in our Discord group that's seen the celebration for 250, I hope you enjoyed that little video Ben made. Obviously, we can't do that publicly. We'd be all, we'd be all in trouble if we share that one publicly. Uh, if the Europa League final is Liverpool Leverkusen, it'll be better than the Champions League final. I don't know. I just don't get the feeling that Leverkusen are going to make it. And I know I'm probably in the minority there. And I know that we all want that big game, the send-off, Klopp versus Alonso. I mean, it would be amazing. I just have a feeling it's going to be Liverpool AC Milan. Does it go to extra time? Yes. Today, Ibrahim, it's going all the way. So whatever happens, the game's decided today. Whether it's extra time, penalties, whatever it is, it will be decided today. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Craig, from Cork and London. Right back to you, Josh. Thank you, my friend. See, I do my bit for St. Patrick's Day every year. I have my own little leprechaun. She's currently in the kitchen having some soup and a bread roll, but I do my own thing, you know. I'm over here every year doing my bit for St. Patrick's Day. She won't tell me where a pot of gold is, though. Coventry versus Liverpool would be class. It would, yeah, be class because it'd be a fairly handy route to the final. Um, but, look, fair play to Coventry, by the way. I mean, imagine 95 minutes yesterday gone and Wolves are 2-1 up and then all of a sudden, eh, eh, over, out, gone. I mean, those Wolves fans must have been absolutely shell-shocked. West Ham are playing well at the moment. Yeah, they are. And, you know, they're in the quarterfinal that they'll look at and think all right difficult game here but the second leg if i'm not mistaken is back in london against leverkusen i think that's going to be a very interesting couple of games i can see coventry beating whoever they end up playing i imagine it'll be city though uh, well i don't know we, we, you know we'll wait and see what the draw brings up afterwards and we will bring you guys the draw and the match reaction show Sofa on St. Patrick's Day, said Liz. Sure, why, why change the habit of a lifetime, Liz, you know? But you see, I'm bringing her over to America next week, Liz, to, you know, let her go international, you know, so she can be uh, an international leprechaun. I'm definitely on the sofa, Liz. You're right. And deserving, fully deserving. Uh, do, you, do you know Molyneux has an entire stand for away fans? Is that just in the FA Cup, though? Because in the FA Cup, you do get an increased capacity. So I think Liverpool get 9,000 for uh, Old Trafford today. Um, but no, I didn't. 
know that about Molyneux. I've never been to Molyneux, but I know they have a cop, right? They have a cop, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, super chat. I'm sure I missed one. Somebody said I missed one. Where is it? There it is. Uh, no, I haven't missed that one. Have I missed the super chat from Jerry Z? I'm trying to scroll back to find it. Uh, said, what do you make of Gomez starting over Bradley today? And thank you, Jerry. And thank you, Mark, as well, for, for giving me the heads up. Um, it's, it's understandable. Bradley's played a lot of minutes in recent weeks. Um, and look, we all feel comfortable if Joe plays as well. So it's absolutely no problem. Um, yeah, I did think maybe... We'd see Gomez at left back, but yeah, look, no issues. I mean, whoever starts there, I'm absolutely sound about it. Um, Gomez has had a great season. Robbo's, you know, starting to get back into match rhythm. All good. The manager knows what he's doing. FA Cup final three days after the Europa League final. Yep. Yeah. But look, I've got to be honest. I, I Of all the competitions, if we have to be knocked out of one, if we were to not be able to lift one of them, it's probably this one. Honestly, I I don't want us to get beaten by United, of course. But, you know, if we did have to sacrifice one, let's be honest, of what's left, it would be this one. But still, we're on the march, so we don't want any... Uh, it's, it's horrible if you go into the international break in a bad mood because it's two weeks long and it's a very long time to wait to put these things right. So let's let United be miserable over the international break. Robbo needs minutes. Bradley has played a lot fair uh, to give Bradley a rest. Absolutely. No issues with it at all, Callum. All good. Uh, Craig, poke around with your metal detector and you might find a pot of gold. My micro detector, you mean? What? Got to be truthful on Paddy's day. Got to be truthful. Do I know when the draw is? Yep, yeah, it's uh, it's after the game. So we'll bring it to you in the match reaction show. The draw has taken place after this uh, game comes to a conclusion. We are the last of the FA Cup quarterfinals. Did something happen to Bradley or is he just rested? Just rested, Sergu. He played a lot of football, mate. A lot of football recently. Cool. Thank you, Mark. And yes, I do see that, Mark. I just don't open that section of the page because it's not the section I usually use, but I do have access to it. And thank you, Mark. Uh, he's on the bench, right? Yes, he is. Connor Bradley is on the bench. Happy to go through the bench again for you guys if you have not seen it. So let's go through all of it. Let's do the team and the bench, right? So in goal is Creevian Kelleher. Right back, Joe Gomez. Left back, Andy Robertson. Your centre-backs for today, Virgil van Dijk and Jarrell Kwanzaa. In midfield, Waturo Endo and Endo Mania are going to be running wild all over Old Trafford. Then it's Dominic Subosly and Alexis McAllister. Up top, right-hand side, Mo. Uh, through the centre, obviously, we're going to have Darwin Nunes. And on the left, Lucho. On the bench today for Liverpool, Adrian, Bobby Clark, Harvey Elliott, Cody Gakpo, Ryan Graffenberg, Connor Bradley, Costas Chimicus. James McConnell and Jaden Dans. That is your Liverpool bench. The Manchester United starting eleven is as follows. It's Andre Onana in goal. Then Wambasaka, Varane, Lindelof and Dalot. In midfield, McTominay and Maynou. Then it's Garnacho, Bruno, Rashford and Rasmus Hoyland. That is the United starting eleven. Uh, let's have a look at Manchester United's bench. Do we have a bench for United? Um, let me just check if I have the bench here for United. I don't think I do at the moment, but it doesn't matter. It'll be just also runs. Uh, Super Chat came in uh, from something death. I don't know how to pronounce the first part of that, mate. Just brought myself the third kit with Mo's name on it. Absolutely buzzing. Liverpool nailed it with all three kits this year, in my opinion. Uh, for me, the green and white kit, class, love it. It grew on me over the season. Didn't like it initially, but I have to say it's won me over. The home kit, yeah, it's fairly inoffensive. But the one I can take to this year has been the purple one. It just reminds me of a box of washing powder. It just, you know, just too much lavender there. I feel like with that much lavender, it's hard to be tough. You know, it's hard to go out there and be physical with that much lavender. So I would have to say, for me, of all of them, that's the one I'm not uh, I'm not sold on. Right, we do now have the United bench, and thank you, gentlemen, for forwarding that on to me. It's Amrabat, Maguire, Mount, Eriksson, Diallo, Anthony, Tom Heaton, uh, 
Kambuala and Forsen. So that's the United bench. Uh, so we've got on the United bench, just so we can be clear about this, the world's most expensive defender, the world's most overpriced winger, and the world's biggest David Beckham wannabe. So that's what we have on the United bench. The world's most expensive defender, the world's biggest David uh, Beckham wannabe, and the world's most expensively overpriced winger. So, yeah. Ooh, I'm scared. Ooh, what will we do if they bring them off the bench? Oh, no. Anthony's the greatest. Da 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 da. Oh, the away fans there are singing Anthony's the greatest. Oh, actually, no, they're, they're not singing Anthony's the greatest. What a moment. One of my favourite moments of the season so far. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, sorry, I'm sure, I'm sure most people do, but. There was a bit of commentary on um, on the United trip in the uh, against Newport, I think it was, in the FA Cup. I'll let you figure it out for yourself after that. Darwin Minecraft kit is the best in the world. Yes, Darwin is special in the green and white kit. Maguire is a super sub, said Abbas Anonymous. Yeah, he's also the world's most expensive defender. That beautiful tag will never leave. Grealish could give him a run for their money as a Beckham wannabe. No, the, the reason I talk about Mount being the Beckham wannabe is the whole brand aspect behind his move. If you read up, there's many articles about this. The whole thing was that he wanted to be the next generation Mason or uh, David Beckham. That's why he's number seven. Uh, and I think he's got the same team behind him, if I'm not mistaken. And that was the that was the idea behind them signing him, that he's going to be the modern David Beckham. How's that worked out so far, lads? Because, you know, I have memories of Beckham and it was of him being a pretty good footballer. I don't remember Mason Mount doing much so far, but hey-ho. The new LeBron shirt is stunning. It's a cringy piece of crap, in my humble opinion. Um, anything that has all these empty platitudes on it, you know, it's, it's not for me. Big YNWA plastered across the front of it. Um, yeah, it's just not for me. It's too cro It's too corny for me. But then again, I don't think I'm the target audience, to be fair, so. Uh, how did your wife get on with her firefighter training? Uh, good, thank you. She has her interview on Tuesday. Um, so wish her good luck with that. She's an interview to join the fire service. So she's been um, studying, getting up to speed, doing practice drills, all the other stuff that she needs to do. And yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited for her. Hopefully, interview goes well. Uh, goal fest today hopefully yes John hopefully mate look hopefully by the end of today we have a semi-final spot booked and then we know when we come back after the international break it's uh, us against Brighton and then we have to sit back and watch Manchester City and Arsenal fight it out am I going to show the game here no we can't do that for copyright reasons obviously sliding down your pole do you know what, Steve? I was very disappointed because I did ask her about, not my poll, I did ask her about the poll, and there's no poll in the fire station. I'm, I'm not joking. No poll. No, that's not even a joke. There isn't. It's one story, so it wouldn't make sense if there was one, but there you go. Uh, Dion Dublin giving Dublin a bad name, Craig. I mean, Dublin's grand. Don't worry about Dublin. We'll be ready for the Europa League final. Uh, is it just me who's excited when it comes to the future of Liverpool? No, I'm I'm buzzing. Look, I'm sort of burying my head in the sand a little bit with regards to uh, making sure that I don't... I, I'm, I'm just ignoring the fact that Klopp's leaving in the summer, mate, at the moment. I'm not going to lie. I'm just subconsciously, I'm just not ready to deal with it yet. So, But I am looking forward to the future for Liverpool. Yes, it definitely does look bright. Hello from Cork, mate. Having a pint of pale ale and it's raised in your honour. I uh, hope you and your family are well. Hopefully another 7-0 today. Thank you, Devoid Dude. And I hope uh, I hope the L pint is going down well. And thank you very much for your uh, your thoughts. And of course, I hope you enjoy the game as well. And happy St. Patrick's Day to you, sir. Craig, I honestly am imagining your wife being taller since she said she's trying to be a firefighter. My wife's five foot two, mate. She definitely ain't tall. Of all the things we could talk about with Sabrina, 
Being tall ain't one of them. No, she's uh, she's very much not. But it's in the family. Her father was a firefighter, and um, in where we live, it's a retained fire service, so they're not full time. They're a part time fire service. So, yeah, uh, fingers crossed. You know, she's um, she's very socially minded, and uh, I'm very proud of her. From Hungary with love, right back to you, my friend. Welcome in. Right, sixty subscribers to go. The challenge is, can we get there before kickoff? Can we get to 250,000 subscribers before the game gets underway? And 1,000 likes along with it. Let's go. Uh, Craig, do you think we need a new CDM in the summer? No, I don't because we've got Bajcetic coming back. So between Bajcetic, Endo, you know, we've got to see what happens with Tyler Morton as well and his spell with Hull. So now I think we're covered. And of course, we know Alexis can play in that position as well. But also, it's important to point out we need to wait and see what system the new manager plays. And as I said, I have been subs or I have been uh, studying over the past few days on Alonso and Ruben Amaram and their systems. And I'm going to record a series of videos over the international break for you guys, doing a bit of a breakdown of what you could expect if Alonso came in. Another video about what you can expect in Amarum, and of course some background on Richard Hughes and a bit more Michael Edwards as well. So I hope you guys enjoy those videos. It's uh, they're going to be a different type of video for me to make because of a bit more time. Usually we're under pressure to get stuff out quickly, but with this we hope there are videos that you can watch at your leisure over the next couple of months. What food are you most excited about when you go to Boston? Keep up the great work. Thank you, downtown Vegas. What food am I most excited about? Um things i can't get over here mate so like certain cheetos um what else can i not uh, pretzel m ms um what else oh brian's promised me some really 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 good uh boston pizza which i'm gonna hold them to because i'm a pizza fiend other than that mate i don't know all of it all of it i just is it wrong like myself connor sabrina all of us are going like well i'm really excited to be going to america and the food. <laughs> Obviously, look at me. Of course, I'm uh, excited about the food. Um, right. Can we all can we all get some uh, love hearts in the chat for a minute? And I'm going to explain why. So you will notice somebody is probably conspicuous today. Mr. Brian, LFC USA, won't be in the chat today because he is in a band. And that band is doing a gig for Paddy's Day in New York. So can we get some love hearts in the chat for Brian, who isn't here today, but is an incredible supporter of the channel, as you guys know, and the reason we're going over to Boston. So Brian can't be with us live today because his band is playing that gig, and of course, we wish him all the best. There's no end to the man's talents, you know? He's in a band and everything. Like, I mean, the jealousy is tremendous for me. What was your prediction? 3-1, uh, mate, 3-1. We all know how amazing Brian has been to uh, to our community, as has Barry, of course, as well. But uh, yeah, best wishes to Brian today. Uh, Craig, I respect you and what you're doing. Keep going. My predictions for 4-1 uh, to Liverpool. Thank you, Benedict. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate you. What was Brian's prediction? I'm not sure if he gave me one, actually. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. I haven't asked him for his prediction. Right, look at that. 28 to go. Just 28 subscribers until we've done it. Oh, my days. It's getting close. Uh, Jam, welcome to Anfield Agenda FC, my man. Appreciate you. Great to have you in. Uh, Paul? Would you ever be open to doing the chat all things Liverpool with Paul Machen, as I believe you both have intelligent opinions that can contrast? Um, look, I'm very much somebody, Jaden, that never says never. Um, we've never had a history of any public interaction, really, ourselves in Red Men TV. But I'm some look. I'm I'm a person that doesn't wish anybody else bad things, and I don't know Paul Machen. I don't know Chris Payjack. I've never really spoken to them. Uh, and would I be open to a conversation? Of course. I've no hate for anyone, mate. I know this is a competitive industry and all, but. I'd have no issues talking to them. I'd have no, no issues talking to the lads of the Anfield rap. I think um, I wish everybody well, sincerely. So, yes, I'd have no issues with that, mate. They, they've publicly said they'd never work with our channel, from what I can understand. But 
I, I, look, I don't have any bad will towards anybody. Um, my aim is just to do the best by us and our community. And after that, there's enough, there's enough gravy for everybody, as I, as I like to say. But yeah, look, no issues with me and anybody, mate. I never rule out doing anything with anybody because, do you know what? Boxing fans will get what I'm talking about. But if you can get Eddie Hearn and um, Frank Warren sitting down together, who am I to rule out anything? In the future, you know, um, I'm a massive boxing fan, and to see those two men putting on fights together, promoting together, doing videos together, anything in this life is possible. Do you expect Bradley to come off the bench? Um, I haven't really given it much thought, to be honest. It depends how the game's going. Uh, Craig, can I just say an early uh, well done for 250k? A brilliant landmark on your journey. Uh, you're so much loved in this amazing community. Well done, Connor and Ben and all the mods, and of course, your brilliant subscribers. That is so lovely, Barry. Thank you. Um, and yes, it is. It's incredible. I, I cannot believe we're going to hit a quarter of a million subscribers. I've told you this story before, and I'm sorry for going on about it, but when we. Um, when we started this channel, our goal was five to 10,000 subscribers. That was it. That was the aim. Never thought we'd do anything past that. And to be here now, within touching distance of a quarter of a million, every day I wake up and um, count my blessings. Honestly, it's it's incredible. Thank you. Uh, you're a good laugh. I try, Terry. I try, mate. I don't take myself too seriously. I think that's an Irish trait, though, in all honesty, mate. We uh, we don't take ourselves very seriously. And our best friends are the ones who are most vicious to us, you know, and put us in our place. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Barry, thank you, mate. Barry's gifted 50 and for the agenda memberships on the day that's in it as well, Barry. Thank you, mate. You know, Barry and Brian, over the past few weeks and months have been just incredible in their generosity to you guys to us to the support of the channel and there's another 50 Anfield Agenda memberships mate you're an absolute legend I don't know what we've done to deserve yourself Brian JC Jen Liz and everybody else that contributes in every way thank you mate awesome uh, Mohammed has gifted 10 memberships as well uh, Mohammed John Soliev I hope I pronounced that okay, mate. Uh, Mohamed John Soliev, thank you. Really appreciate that, sir. You're an absolute gent. Thank you very much. There we go. I mean, this is why you got to get in early to an Anfield Agenda live stream because that's 60 now. Two to go. One to go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Go on. Go on. Two. 150,000 subscribers. Oh, wow. What a moment. What a moment. Absolute legends. Uh, Raheel Bahiti, thank you for uh, becoming a member, mate, as well. Wow. Mental, honestly. That's crazy. Somebody said get Nulon out. I feel like he has to be here with us, yes. No one deserves it more. Love this community, said Mike. Thank you, Mike. Absolute legend. Appreciate you. We did it. We did it. Wow. Uh, Luke, welcome to Anfield Agenda Ultra. Sorry, the chat's moving fast. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss that. And... That's amazing. I think Newland's, Newland's doing what I'm trying to do inside, which is the dance. Amazing. Thank you so much. And let's keep going. Who knows? Who knows what the future has in store? Honestly, I have no idea, but thank you all so much. Congrats, Craig. Fully deserved. Appreciate you, Dylan. Thank you. You're going to cry, Craig? I don't know, mate. I do get emotional in these moments because I am a big soppy git. But, um, yeah, slauncher. Wow. Can't believe it. Honestly. Mental. Thank you. Do you know what? Just really quickly before I move on. Uh, wouldn't have been able to do this without the guy who started the channel with me. 
and he doesn't get much of the limelight but you know i'm here to make sure that he does you guys get to see me every day and obviously ben has been added into the anfield agenda family recently but since day one the man whose idea it was to start the channel the man who puts up with me and my diva attitude at times the man who's talked me back from the brink on many occasions and the man who just keeps delivering mr connor crosby um my business partner my mate my brother um wouldn't be able to do it without you connor thank you and thank you katie as well his partner for um, letting me kidnap him all the time and keep driving him on and forward so yeah thank you to connor as well wouldn't been able to be here without him uh, and i mean that sincerely this is both of our channels this is both of our futures and thank you uh Jens, thank you for gifting 10 memberships appreciate that mate 250k on paddy's day when liverpool play united i know we couldn't we couldn't have asked for it to be any better um yeah Could, couldn't have gone any better the day that's in it the stream that's in it amazing now let's get the job done and get the win and then we can celebrate properly later on uh kai smith gifting five anfield agenda memberships absolutely awesome dude thank you incredible appreciate you best liverpool channel out there congratulations mate said jason morris jason appreciate you brother thank you always uh popping in to say hello mate thank you so much uh, look i don't know what we've done to deserve the support we have but we appreciate it and we're going to keep trying to not uh not shit the bed congrats craig so well deserved here's the 500k someday maybe you never know look i've never hidden it my aim and connor's aim has always been to um to become the most subscribed to liverpool fan channel in the world that's our aim and we're going to keep trying to go to get there wow honestly i'm it's mental but it's not about me today it's about the game so let's keep focused uh, congratulations man i've been here since 2019 2020 love being part of this amazing community thank you big man appreciate you uh donut oh, well i wouldn't say no to one i don't know if you're calling me a donut or not terry but i wouldn't say no to one if one's going and also big shout out to mark as well our amazing chief moderator you know mark does incredible stuff here and is a great support to me and connor as well uh congrats craig and connor said t thank you mate the growth is rapid said Ivani. i don't know i was thinking about that is it i'm not sure um yeah i've no idea if it is rapid or not and it's been six years now but six amazing years davino thank you bud for gifting five anfield agenda memberships as well absolutely awesome that's what 50 60 i think it's about 70 memberships gifted so far today uh kirk marks thank you very much as well congrats craig the team love this channel thank you buddy appreciate you uh you're the best liverpool man ever could not be any more proud said andy thank you andy awesome appreciate all of you leverkusen 2-1 is what we're hearing by the way was um was the west ham second goal ruled out because i'd seen something when all the th the congrats messages were coming in i did see somebody talk about a second west ham goal has that been ruled out uh congratulations on 250k said wayne thank you wayne really appreciate you mate but look i appreciate all the 250k but you know we've got a job to do today and that's to stay focused on the game so thank you and i appreciate all the messages and all the support and everything but we've got a job to do today and that's to make sure that you guys are kept up to date with what's going on in the game as well so before i get into the team news and i will read it out again just a reminder that we are being brought to you today and we wouldn't be here on big days like today without the support of our friends at manscaped you can join myself and 10 million other men worldwide who use manscaped as their male grooming partners check out the all new performance package 5.0 ultra from our friends at manscaped it is the best way to elevate your grooming game uh, and as i said They've been incredible supporters of us here on the channel. You wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't understand how big a how big a role our sponsors play in making sure we can keep the lights on. So again, thank you to our friends at Manscaped. You can get yourself twenty percent off and free shipping. That's twenty percent off and free shipping at Manscaped.com by using our discount code Anfield twenty. As you can see on the screen, scan the QR code or use the link. And the all new performance package five point Ultra is their best ever product and i've used all of them the three the four the five it's class 
Uh, let's have a fair game without any penalty crying. I want a tight win for United or an embarrassing 7-0 for you. Ten Hag out and good luck, said Jensk. Thank you, Jensk. Um, I don't know if I'm being absolutely arrogant when I say this, but looking at the Manchester United team, I don't feel any fear. My only fear today is something like a red card or I just don't see how we don't win this game. And I know United fans are probably going, listen to this arrogant twa. But I don't really. I don't see how if we show up, we don't win. But we didn't show up at Anfield and we didn't win. So I'm hoping that the boys are going to put that right today. And with that in mind, let's take a look at uh, both the starting 11s. We'll start off with the home side, Manchester United. Uh, Andre Onana in goal, then Aaron Wambasaka, Raphael Varane, Victor Lindelof, Diogo Dalot, Scott McTominay, Kobe Maynou, uh, Alejandro Garnacho, Bruno Fernandes, also United's captain, Marcus Rashford and Rasmus Hoyland. The Liverpool team, it's Cuevin Kelleher in goal, Joe Gomez at right back, left back Andy Robertson and Jarrell Kwanzaa and Virgil van Dijk are your centre back pair today. In midfield, it's Waturo Endo, Alexis McAllister and Dominic Soboslai. And up top, right-hand side, Mo, Left-hand side, Luis Diaz. And through the middle, Mr. Darwin Nunes. Uh, congrats on 250k, said Ryan White. Been here since 18k subs. Thank you so much, Ryan. Appreciate you sticking with us on the journey. By the way, we don't want to stop here. So do keep hitting that subscribe button. Let's keep going. 250, done. Push on now. Why is Tyson Fury looking like a leprechaun who's about to go to the horse races? And by the way, can we all just admit now that Tyson Fury absolutely dyes his beard? Because that, that's fooling nobody, that beard. That is, that's a bad dye job of his beard, if we're being honest. And I like Tyson Fury, but he needs to get a better, better colour of his beard. Uh, ready in Florida, said Antonio Jones. Nice, appreciate you. Let's have a look at the benches as well, by the way. We haven't uh, gone through both benches yet. Uh, the United bench looks like this. Amrabat, Maguire, Mount, Eriksen, Diallo, Anthony, Tom Heaton, uh, Willie Kambuala and uh, Omari Forson. For Liverpool, Adrian, Cody Gakpo, Harvey Elliott, Costa Simicus, Ryan Gravenberg, Bobby Clark, James McConnell, Jaden Dans and Connor Bradley. That is your Liverpool bench. How are we feeling? I'm uh, feeling good. Excited. A bit sad that it's the international break after today. I hate international breaks, but I guess at least we get to go over to Boston on Thursday, so that's going to be fun. Uh, Gomez, the score for the channel's 250k subs, said Kirk Marks. That would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that would just top the day off. So Liverpool to win, that would be awesome. Uh, 250k, done. Joe Gomez goal, that would be incredible. They can play for a draw today. Watch the captain throw his toys out of the pram, said Andrew. Yes, it is decided today. So a couple of questions people are going to ask. Is there VAR? Yes. Does the game get decided today? Is there extra time of penalties if needs be? Yes. We need a winner today. So somebody will be in that quarterfinal draw, or semi-final draw, excuse me, which has taken place at a, a full time. So we'll bring you that as well. Uh, Mark said West Ham's second goal was disallowed for a foul. There we go. Right, so if you haven't seen as well, the semi-final lineup so far looks like this. Coventry beat Wolves yesterday, so they're in the semi-final. Obviously, we had uh, Chelsea win earlier on against Leicester City and Manchester City beat Newcastle. So City, Coventry and Chelsea await the winner of this game. Right, huge congrats uh, to all, the all in front of camera and behind the scenes. Major achievement and well-deserved. Now to Stuff United and Celebrate, said Chris Tatton. Music, absolutely, Chris. Couldn't have said it any better, mate. Um, PGMOL will decide it in United's favour. Do you know what's really been an eye-opener over the past couple of months? So you guys know I'm always shouting about referees in general, right? The amount of people that have messaged me over the last month or two who aren't Liverpool fans um, saying that they feel the exact same way, that the PGMOL and referees seem intent on the how do i say this without getting in trouble on playing a part in where everything gets decided this season i think we deserve better as football fans all of us whether you're a liverpool fan a united fan a west ham fan whoever we deserve better than what we're getting from the officials this year and 
like I've always said, it's going to take something like the Super League. It's going to take all of us coming together to demand better. I know the temptation is always to just laugh. And I do it. I'm guilty of it as well. But we need to come together and sort this stuff out for the good of the game because the amount of people who are falling out of love with football because really clear, obvious things they're seeing with their own eyes aren't getting picked up on or we're being told something different. It's demoralising and it's doing damage to the game. Uh, Wambasaka left back in training according to Samuel Lockhurst said Ben there obviously have him man marking Salah let's see how he gets on uh, Jurgen Klopp speaking to ITV pre-match said we had special weeks and somehow we came through that not all the time we really understood ourselves what happened but we had some really good games and that's how we will need to be today so obviously Kloppo just making sure everybody's focused and um, look if we show up and play our best today I think we get the job done are you going to stick with your 3-1 prediction yes Mervyn I am I don't, I don't want to be any more arrogant than 3-1 I feel like 3-1's arrogant enough uh, I hope we score the first goal because I think if we score the first goal then the pressure really ratchets up on United the home fans get a little bit antsy and um, the game opens up and if the game opens up I think there's there's only going to be one team that benefits but anything's possible in football so let's see what happens over the next 90 minutes we're only 8 minutes away from kickoff, so we're nearly there who's your favourite Premier League ref I used to say Michael Oliver but there's been a couple of occasions I think Michael Oliver's bottled it recently. Uh, obviously, one of them was the very, very clear penalty we should have had against City. So, I don't know if I even have one anymore. Oh, nice one. Brian True Geordie just sent us a message saying, well done on 250k. Much love, Brian. Thank you, mate. Um, really appreciate that from the big man. And, um, yeah. It's amazing. Thank you to everyone and Brian, of course, and Josh and all the team over the kickoff. Thank you so much. They're uh, they're really good friends to us behind the scenes as well. And we wish the guys over there nothing but love. And thank you to Brian for that nice little message. Appreciate it. Uh, aren't you nervous, Craig? No, weirdly, Mervyn, I'm not. Uh, and I know I think I'm broken, dude. I think I'm broken. I don't. Usually I would be a bag of nerves. Uh, but I wasn't nervous for the City game really and I don't really feel nerves today I think it's because I'm just incredibly proud of everything that's happened so far this season so I don't I don't feel nervous because I don't think we've gotten to be nervous about you know whatever happens we're having an incredible season this season so you know the rest will play out as it plays out and uh, yeah I, I, I don't know maybe I'm broken Uh, need you on the kickoff soon, said the Alalala. -la -la. Uh, I will get over at some point. Obviously, I couldn't get over the last time. That was on me, not on the lads. Um, but we will be over soon. Uh, Craig, when will you go to a Liverpool game in real life? I'm hoping to get back over for the semi-final of the Europa Conference League if we uh, get there. The plan is myself and the guy that runs Ustach.com are, um, are going to go over to the semi-final, the home leg. But, you know, let's wait and see. But that is the plan at the moment. I don't want to miss the final. Obviously, I want to be here with you guys for the final. So, if I do have to do one game, and uh, and I think I do, because it's been too long since I've been over, it'll probably be the semis. Keep smashing it, you beautiful people. Thank you. Oh, and to those people having a pop at me on Twitter again, over something I said on a stream about someone grow up they'll know what I'm talking about people trying to call me out and cancel me for merely saying an opinion about why I think somebody should have been working instead of gallivanting and people losing their damn minds over it if that is all it takes for you to get rattled in this industry it's going to be a long time for you my friend it's going to be a long time because that wasn't uh, that wasn't meant as anything that was a throwaway comment uh morning craig great to be here again love that you're a quarter away to a million would you ever have thought you could be number one liverpool youtube channel in the world keep dreaming no 
no, never, mate. Never thought. Uh, as I said, never thought we'd do that above five or ten thousand subscribers. So, nah, this is somebody else's life, mate. I'm just living it, <clears throat> and it feels amazing. But also, like, I don't know, I'm blagging it or something. Var looked at your subscriptions. Fifty thousand are offside. It's all right though, because I'm on. I'm on side with the PGMOL. So I've appealed the decision and it's been overturned. Subscribers stand. Love from France. Thank you. Need do appreciate you. Right, my friends. Teams are in the tunnel at Old Trafford. About to walk out for the quarterfinal of the FA Cup. Manchester United versus Liverpool. A place in the semi-final awaits. And as I said earlier on, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart, we wouldn't be able to be here without our friends from Manscaped. So do check out the all-new Performance Package 5.0 Ultra from our friends over at Manscaped. It is designed to elevate your grooming game and shine like the bunny-loving enthusiast I know that you guys are. Join myself and 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our male grooming needs. Uh, go to manscaped.com, grab yourself 20% off and free shipping with the code ANFIELD20. The Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra Electric Trimmer features skin-safe technology, guarding your family jewels against any grooming mishaps. It also features Manscaped's brightest ever LED spotlight, perfect for precision grooming even in the trickiest of spots and it's waterproof as well the performance package 5.0 ultra uh, comes with the weed whacker 2.0 nose hair trimmer uh, manscapes two liquid formulations the shed travel bag and boxer briefs and for all my bearded kings manscape brings you the beard hedger pro kit designed to effortlessly shape and sculpt your cheek lines as well as maintaining your preferred beard style so that's 20 percent off and free shipping at manscape.com 20 percent off and free shipping use the code anfield 20 at checkout and thank you to our friends at manscape right now that the bills have been paid Let's go through the teams one more time before we get underway. We will start with the home side. Manchester United have Onana in goal. Then it's Juan Basaka, Varane, Lindelof and Dalot in the defensive positions. McTominay and Maynou in midfield. Garnacho, Bruno, Rashford and Hoyland make up the attacking quartet for Eric Ten Hag's side. For Liverpool, it's Cuevy and Kelleher obviously keeping his place in goal with Alisson still out injured. Right back today, Joe Gomez, left back Andy Robertson. Your centre-backs are Jarrell Kwanzaa and your captain Virgil van Dijk. In midfield, Waturo Endo, Alexis McAllister and Dominic Soboslai up top. Right-hand side, the great man, the man who's going to get his six-pack out later on, Mr. Mohamed Salah. On the left, we've got Lucho Diaz and through the centre, Darwin, captain Chaos Nunes. That is your Liverpool eleven. Uh, well done on 250k, said Larkin Riley. Thank you, Larkin. Member with us for three months as well. Uh, Mohammed, who's a member for four months, said, Craig, always love the content. Thanks so much. Mohammed, thank you, sir, for your continued support of the channel. Appreciate you. Uh, I, I agree with this comment from Simon Morrow, by the way. I couldn't agree any more, Simon. He said, regarding the PGMOL, truth be told, most fans shouldn't even know who they are if they did their jobs correctly instead of trying to grab all the headlines. Mate, I think you've nailed it. You are right. They're becoming pseudo-celebrities when, as you've correctly said, mate, we shouldn't have any clue who the hell they are. So... We are about to get underway. Sit back, relax, and I will do my best to take you through the game. It does have to be decided today one way or the other, whether it's extra time, penalties, or in the 90 minutes. So Michael Edwards is at the game today as well, by the way. Uh, Ian Doyle reporting that from the Echo, that Michael Edwards is taking in the game from the director's box today. So there we go. Do I watch the Irish national team? Yes, I would. I wouldn't say I'm a diehard. I wouldn't say it would impact my emotions in the same way a Liverpool game would. But yes, I do. Uh, relax, I'm bouncing off the walls with nerves, said Ethan. <clears throat> it's all right, Ethan. I'll, uh, I'll distract you with some crappy chanting and weird commentary and hopefully that'll calm you down a bit. Sorry, I just need a drink. And again, slauncher to everybody today. <clears throat> Apologies, which is the Irish word for cheers, by the way. So slauncher. Uh, good old Trafford looks. 
old 15 years ago would be envious of their club and now look fsg for all their faults of being great owners said benjamin alfred and thank you benjamin right my friends we are about to get underway bruno fernandez just having a little word with kobe mainu from the united side united will be kicking off playing from left to right united in their red strip liverpool in their green and white i will sync for you guys as well so you can make sure we're all at the same time and we are underway we are underway my friends bruno sends the ball all the way back to andre onana who launches the ball out long right hand side best of luck let's get going 90 minutes here we go liverpool throw in Pitch is looking decent at Old Trafford as well. Looks like a decent spring day. Robbo plays the ball forward into the left channel. United have it back now with Diogo Dalot, who is indeed playing at right back. So left side for United will be Aaron Wan-Bissaka, who's tasked with keeping Mohamed Salah quiet. Onana. Ball played out from the back. I will sink at one minute so everybody is able to... Uh, be on the same time frame. Long ball into the air, punted forward. Van Dijk heads it out to Robbo. Who clears his lines? Right, my friends, we are at one minute and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, United on the attack with Rashford, left hand side. Right, and we're all supposed to believe, by the way, that the PSG want to pay £80 million for Marcus Rashford. That's definitely happening. United on the attack now. Ball inside. Ooh, half-decent chance there for Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Stretches out a right foot, and the ball trickles through to Kelleher. But United have players in better positions there, and we need to wake up. Because look, look at the people free on the edge of the box. Wakey, wakey, boys. Come on now. That was too easy. Meanwhile, United are throwing down by their own corner flag. Right-hand side. They're already delaying the game here. Ball boys and all. Part of the uh, time wasting. Two minutes in. Right. Eventually, we'll get this throw in, by the way. Dallas still isn't taken. That's about 20 seconds for that throw in. Ball's back with Onana. He puts the boot through it. Launches it long upfield again. That seems to be United's plan today. Long and quick, hoping that the pace of Hoyland and Rashford can get in behind Liverpool's high line. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you, Jordan. Appreciate you, mate. Don't forget, do keep hitting that subscribe button, friends. For those who are new in, appreciate you being with us. Diaz now. Man on. He's brought down. Free kick. Lucho brought down. He's holding his ankle. Fell from Scott McTominay. Lucho was just turning away from him. McTominay put his foot in between his two feet and tripped him, but he's back up, thankfully. That sun looks a bit vicious, actually. Salah now. He goes back to Kelleher. That is a very strong winter sun, isn't it? Or, I guess, spring sun now. Verge tries to play it out to Robertson, but it's overhit and it goes out for United throw-in. That really is bright, isn't it? You can see it straight into the player's eyes. Like McTominay. United now on the attack right-hand side. Ball back to the edge of the box. Strike. Kelleher with a good save. Again, United have started the brighter here. This time it's Marcus Rashford. Cuts onto his right foot. Hits it early. Aiming for the far corner. Kelleher jumps across to his left-hand side and makes a good, strong save. It is definitely Manchester United who have started this game the brighter. McAllister now. Liverpool looking to play out. Ball into the right channel. Can Mo keep it in play? Yes, he can. No, he can't. He should have done better than that. Should have done better than that. He should have kept that in play. Liverpool trying to win it back. Well done. Gomez high up the field, winning it back. McAllister now. Back to Verge.
Again, nothing on for Liverpool, so they're just playing it across the back line here. Burge with a ball out right-hand side to Mo. Mo needs to work on that control of his today. Got a little bit forwards in it there. Sobosly, strike! Straight at Onana. Unlucky. Sobosly brings the ball into his left foot, receives it from Salah, cuts in, hits the ball, but it's straight at Onana. Uh, not going to worry the Manchester United keeper too much with that one. More than a feeling. Do, 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 do. United have started well, LFC fan, yes, but thankfully for us, haven't capitalised on their good start. Be another Manchester United throw in here on the halfway line, far side. Ball thrown quickly to Bruno. Again, it breaks. McTominay. Ball in behind, too much on it, and Quibi and Kelleher comes out and claims it. Right, Robbo. Come on. Robbo on the attack now. Left-hand side for Liverpool. Still Robertson. And his ball inside is deflected back to the United players. Come on, boys. We need to uh, settle into this game quickly. See, at least if we play in the United half, there's no sun there. So, you know, the easy thing to do is just keep the ball in the United half. And we won't have to worry about that bright sun in our eyes. Sobosly. Again, back to Gomez. Gomez across the verge. Robbo. McAllister. Back to Andy Robertson. Virgil van Dijk. Kwanzaa now. He goes out right-hand side to Mo, Mo up the line to Soboslai. Ball across. It's cleared by United. Free kick. Referee said free kick. There was a follow-through there, I think, from Darwin. But either way, Manchester United player was caught. Free kick to United in and around their own six-yard box. I think there's 9,000 Liverpool fans at the game today, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was the allocation. United are compact, but not sitting back, said John. They look like they're just playing to counter, and understandable. You know, we do play a high line, and they do have pace, so I understand the thought process there from Ten Hags, but, um, yeah, we need to, if we strike first, I think it becomes really interesting, because United are then going to have to try and set the tempo. They are already sitting back, Harry. They're sitting back to play on the counter-attack. Which, as I've said, is understandable and does play to United's strengths as well as our, I guess, potential weakness, which is leaving that space behind. Uh, Buffalo Soldier said he hates the high line. I don't mind it. The high line's great when it works, but we play a very, very high a lot of the time right on the halfway line, so... Ball across. Salah. Volley. Ooh! Unlucky. Great strike from Mo. Good pick out as well. Ball played from the right side of the pitch from Darwin. All the way across to Salah on the left. Watches it. Dropping out of the sky. Catches it on the volley. Makes a good connection with it. Just can't steer it inside that near post. But great play there from Darwin and Mo. Oof. A yard or two wide. But again, great vision. Mo, getting his, Mo just getting a sighter in now. Villa have equalised, by the way, in the game against West Ham. So it is West Ham 1, Aston Villa 1, for those asking. Have no fear, Sinel is here. Perfect, welcome in. And don't forget, my friends, do keep hitting that subscribe button. We've hit 250k, but we want to get the next one, so let's keep going. Again, Liverpool are starting to work their way into this game now. Bit of pressing in and around the United pit, half of the pitch, but again, a cheap free kick given away. I didn't think it was a foul either, by the way, but United got on with it quickly. Ball now into the left channel. Rashford. I love that little shove from Kwanzaa there. Oh. 1-0 United. 
Oh, it's going to be one of them days. Scott McTominay, 1-0 United. Come on. Mm. It's 1-0 United. Hoyland or McTominay? Which one is it? McTominay, I think. Is it McTominay or Hoyland? I don't know. I don't care. Again, that all came from a city free kick that they get on with quickly. Rashford gets to the left side. Then plays the ball. Little one, two. Back to Rashford. Slips it in. Kelleher makes a save. And then McTominay follows it in. It's 1 0 to United. Not the start we wanted. I'm not getting angry yet. I'm not getting angry. It's loads of time in this game. Just shoddy defending again. It's just so easy. Like it's Nobody fighting for the second ball. The start that you predicted. Yep. We never like to do things the easy way, do we? And um, again, just shoddy defending. From United's perspective, look, they'll be happy enough with that. But again, we just react so slowly to second balls. And McTominay wanted it and got in there and fought for the second ball. We need to settle into this game now and show that we are the better side. But lots of work still to do. So, as you join us, if you're coming in late, it is Manchester United 1, Scott McTominay with the goal, Liverpool 0. And look, United have started the better side in this game. It's up to us now to wrestle back control. Great challenge. Why are they cry Arsenal for a penalty for here? Robbo comes in with a sliding challenge and United players crying for a penalty. It's a good challenge that from Robbo. But we need to wake up. United have started better than us here and again we need to just wake up. God I hate them so much. I really do. Everything about them annoys me. Fernandez walking across applauding like he's after uh, being part of a, a World Cup winning. I just hate them. I hate United. Everything about them so annoying. Fernandez with the corner. Dallas shot high and wide. Is anybody else getting really annoyed that we always start games slowly? No, look, I know United had a full week to train and stuff, but still. We're going to make hard work of a game that shouldn't be hard work. Kelleher Soboslai he's pushed off the ball but referee says fairly United again on the attack they're targeting Gomez side here by the way Rashford and uh, United are having a field day down their right hand side Maynou now still Kobe Maynou tries to pull it back and we get four to lads we need to wake up Keep being arrogant, man. I will, don't worry. I mean, this is your season. It's not our season on the line today. Diaz, pull back. McAllister, oh, he's leaning back and puts it over the bar. Come on, boys, better. And the keep being arrogant comment's funny because the game ain't over, bro. There's loads of time left. And for United fans, you, you know we all love each other deep down and all and all that stuff. But today... It's your season on the line, not ours. This is it for you guys. It's uh, it's this or nothing. For us, we've plenty left to play for if all goes uh, tits up today. But that being said, of course I want to win. I do. But I'm being honest. United started the better team. So we don't deserve to be ahead or even in this game yet. We haven't woken up. Diaz on the attack. 
I guess I haven't gotten angry yet because I still fully believe we're going to turn this around. Kwanzaa. Uh, wrong game for Joe and Andy to still be rusty. Yes, they do feel like they are a little bit rusty out there. I agree. Confidence is not arrogance. I agree with that as well, yes. Look, 15 minutes in, United 1-0 up, and we have a bit of an uphill climb here, but I'm still believing we'll get this done. Next goal is really important, though. Last thing we want to do is fall 2-0 down. Then it really does become a problem. And we need to stop giving this away. Look again. Second balls. I spoke about this the other day. And I'm going to speak about it again now today. How many second balls are we going to lose? Second ball for the goal. United player gets there first. Every time second balls. United are half a yard sh sharper. Free kick again here. Wide right. The time wasting is phenomenal already here. Ten Hag's giving Dalot instructions on the sideline and Bruno's standing around. The ref's all sound about this. It's already, they're already at the time wasting. Why no Canade? Injured. I mean, surely you know that. If you're a Liverpool fan, surely you know Canade's injured. I get, they still haven't taken this free. This is a good minute now before they've taken this free kick. And eventually Bruno puts it in and kicks it straight out of play for a goal kick. Took them a good minute to take that free kick and then he just boots the ball straight out behind for a goal kick. All would he crying, are we? Are you that much of a dope, Jay, that you think that's crying? Yeah, sorry, mate. We don't have time for idiots. So come in with something semi-contributing to the conversation. Nobody's crying, mate. We're critiquing our slow start. I think we're allowed to do that considering we are losing. But don't worry. Plenty of time left in this. Once we wake up, we'll be fine. I hope. Salah now. Ball into the left channel to Andy Robertson. Robbo delivers a ball deep. Oh, it's too deep. It's over everybody. Soboslai keeps it in on the far side. Ah, here, Gomez. Would you get, relax now, Joe? Relax. Soboslai pulls it back to the edge of the box. Joe Gomez is there. And now we can see why he hasn't scored yet in a Liverpool shirt. Because uh, that was... High and wide and not very handsome. It genuinely never uh, ceases to amaze me how many professional footballers lean back when they have a shot at goal. McAllister did it earlier on. Gomez done it again there now. Knee over the top of the ball, boys. Knee over the top of the ball. Throw in to Liverpool on the far side. 18 minutes gone. It is Manchester United 1, Liverpool nil. That goal coming from Scott McTominay. Gomez has not been good so far in this game. He hasn't. But for those asking, the reason I guess Bradley's on the bench is because he played a lot of minutes recently. Um, and I'm sure Klopp just wants to rotate. But we are uh, we are being worked hard, let's say, down our right-hand side. United have had some joy there with Rashford. Ball out now to Diaz. Diaz down the line to Andy Robertson. Back to Lucho. Dalot's there with him. Ball back to Alexis McAllister. McAllister inside to Endo. Diaz. It's a bit loose. How is it we don't get free kicks, by the way? Gomez clearly fell there and the ref giving us nothing. How do we not get free kicks? This is nonsense. Shenanigans again. You know how to play? This is nonsense. How is that not a free? It's ridiculous. Goal kick to Liverpool. United will probably be asking how they didn't have a free there as well, by the way, as Rashford went to ground. But we need to wake up. 20 minutes on the clock and we are already a goal down. And 
No signs of a springing into life just yet. Come on, boys. Wakey, wakey. Van Dyke. Ball nodded down. Offside flag goes up. Free kick to Liverpool. This team is badly set up, said Bobby uh, Jokchira. Stop giving the ball back to them. That that would work, NL. Yes, I agree with you on that one. It's not cute anymore that we start games slowly. Like, there's only as I've said all season. There's only so many times you can get and go to the well. We need to uh, we need to start games quicker. Diaz now. Oh, over hits the ball, looking for Mo on the far side. And it'll be a Manchester United throw in. Again, look, these little triangles down that side are opening us up again. Down this right hand side, one twos for United were opened up. Again, it's very similar to the pattern that Arsenal scored from when Kai Havertz went straight through the middle. Remember that goal? Watch that back. United are playing a similar little set of triangular passes in and around midfield and then having a runner, a late runner, come in as a third man to play into the space behind. And we need to address it because Arsenal exploited it and United are looking to do it here again. It's one, two move, ball, ball, runner. And again, nobody stepping in there. We need to block off those channels. United on the attack again. Verge comes across, puts the ball out. United throw in. Also, does Virgil van Dijk know he doesn't always have to just kick the ball out for a throw? Somebody needs to tell him that. Because that there, he could have taken a touch, gone to the channel and looked to play it forward. But he just seems to think it's cool to just boot the ball out all the time for throw-ins. I get wound up by it sometimes. I know his theory is hit it out and reset, but it's sometimes just... Oh, how is that a free kick? This is it again. Fall down to the ground, free kick. Fall to the ground, free kick. He's waiting for it. How is that a free kick? Oh my, the state of that. You lit. Oh, Bruno, such a little. We didn't get a peno, remember? No peno for studs in the chest. That wasn't a foul, but that was. No peno for studs in the chest, but hand on the back for half a second, free kick. Let's see. The PGMOL, lads. The PGMOL. That's a foul, but our penalty against City wasn't. Amazing stuff. Amazing. He tries to be greedy with the free kick and it goes over the bar. He's such... I hate the lad. He honestly is such a little... I'm going to say Chi because that was... He was waiting for Gomez there. He looked over the shoulder waiting for him. The referee needs to grow a pair. Honestly, John Brooks needs to grow a pair. Ball in. Diaz. Blocked. Come on, boys. Press. Dalot. Goes back. Come on, press, press, all the way. Keep running. Press him. That's it, Darwin. Keep going. Now, second ball. McAllister. Here we go. Head up, Endo. Head up. Oh, Jesus, lads. Come on. Again, let's go, Verge. McAllister, centre of the park, ball into with Toro Endo. Back to McAllister. Somebody give him an option. Andy Robertson now, left hand side. Back to Watoro. 25 minutes almost on the clock at Old Trafford. Still United who lead by a goal to nil. 
Gomez, Kwanzaa. Look, lads, just five of them around that press. Move the goddamn ball. Don Kelleher. 2 1 to West Ham, by the way. 2 1 to West Ham. McAllister now on the break again. Ball into the left channel to Andy Robertson. Back to Endo. Robbo. It's all lovely, lads, keeping possession, but. Ball, that's a good ball down the line to Darwin. Darwin right side of the penalty area. Corner Liverpool. Come on. Corner Liverpool right hand side. We're starting to play into the game a little bit now. But again we've given United encouragement here. They've every incentive to just sit back and defend deep. And ask us can we break them down. Comes the corner. Ball in. Breaks to Gomez. Oh, Jesus. Soboslai. McAllister. Gomez. Diaz now. No, nope, offside. Wake up! Uh, Dream said exactly the same thing that happened against Arsenal. It, it's getting a bit annoying at this point. Like It's like they don't show up. Here we go. Giving it away in midfield again. Now United counter-attack down our left. Once again, it's Gomez side. Thankfully, thankfully for us, Hoyland slips. Gomez needs to be sorted, lads. This cannot carry on. He's having he's been destroyed here. We need to sort out our right hand side. United are having way too much joy down it. Uh, Craig, love your commentary. Genuinely one of the greatest out there. Such a good community. Keep up the good work. Josh, thank you, mate. Really appreciate that. Darwin now. Go on, Darwin. Go on. Strikes blocked. McAllister. I hate when we're playing a team who sit back and we have to find a way to break through. Because we, let's be honest... It, we struggle. We struggle against low blocks. It's been our Achilles heel for years. And um, United haven't got that early goal now. No, they, they can sit back in and try to catch us on the counter. And it's up to us to figure this out. Long ball looking for Diaz. Nothing on too close to Onana. Salah now. Again, he loses his battle to Wambasaka. Just battles being lost all over that pitch so far. Dalot. Lindelof. Varane. Tries to go out left side to Rashford. Over hits it. Liverpool throw in. It does. I agree. Everybody was saying the right side looks fragile. It does. It looks off balance. Robertson. Diaz. Like, what are we expecting to happen here, lads? United aren't going to part like the Red Sea. Move the ball quicker through the lines for the love of God. This, this is a game that, that needs Elliot at the moment. Again, 
Not much movement. We're walking away from goal. That's it. Good bit of footwork, Joe. Oh, too much, Joe. Back to McAllister. Come on. Ball out to Robbo. Ball across. Oh, cleared by United. Volley. Oh, straight at Anana. Better. Come on, boys. Ball in. Good ball from Robbo. Was well defended by Varane. Varane puts a head on it. Ball breaks down to Sobosly, who does what he has to do. Gets over the top of the ball, volleys it down into the ground. And Onana gets his body behind it. Half an hour gone. It is Manchester United 1, Liverpool 0 in the FA Cup quarter final. United now again. Right hand side. Oh, that's stupid! Why did you challenge you little dope? Yellow from Mc... Oh, it's just so stupid. It's such a cheap yellow card. He's running into nowhere. And McAllister's tracking back. Runs across the back of him. Clips his ankle. It's a straight, clear yellow card all day, every day. But it's such a stupid card to take. Again, from us giving away possession. Such a stupid, needless yellow. I think it was a foul all day, every day. No issues with giving of the red card. It's the stupidity to pick up the yellow that's annoyed me. It was definitely a foul. No issue with that. Sobosly now. Look at the space ahead of you, mate. Run into it. Out to Salah. Gomez. Endo. McAllister. Manon. Darwin. Salah. Again, not non throw into Liverpool on the far side. Elliot must be the most underrated player. How he doesn't start in midfield perplexes me. Oh, here we go. I think he will come on and he will play a part in this game. It's crying out from in fairness. Diaz now. Corner. Unlucky. Come on, boys. Corner on the left hand side. Diaz gets to the byline, tries to pull the ball back. Diogo Dalot gets the block in. And the ball ricochets behind. It'll be a Liverpool corner. Come on, boys. Right, McAllister. Or Robbo to take it. Excuse me. Jesus Christ. What was the point of that? Like, who was that to? Lads, wake up. This is pathetic. Lads, this is just pathetic. Honestly. I don't, I, I'm not going in on individuals or anything. I'm not going to swear. This is pathetic. Who is this we're looking at? Uh, Liverpool looked tired after Thursday's game, said Jensk. Mate, please don't get me started on that team selection on Thursday. Because it was way too strong. We said it at the time and now we're suffering the consequences of it. Why am I getting frustrated? Liverpool win comfortably, remember. I said, if we play. I did say, if we show up, we should be the better team. I did say it. But United have been the better side in this game so far. No problem with that. We just need to wake up. It's not good enough from us. And our right-hand side is, is being way, way too open and way too easy for United to get at. Look like we've been out in the piss or something. How did that West Ham game end 1-1? One, one, one? I feel like there's been about 16 goal alerts for West Ham scoring. And it's finished 1-1. One, one. I don't know. VAR must have been busy today than at West Ham. <laughs> I, I swear at least three or four different times I've seen West Ham score the second in the chat. 11 minutes plus stop. It's time to go in the first half. United 1-0 up. McTominay with the goal. Joe Gomez never plays well against United. I think he's reverted back to the old Joe, said Benjamin. But look, hopefully... Oh, shot from Bruno. Good save from Kelleher. Um, hopefully Klopp makes a change at halftime. But 
let's wait and see because we can't come out second half and play like this. We can't. This is unrecognisable. And it's unacceptable. Wambasaka to Mainu. Rashford now grabs the ball. Ball it back. Oh, saved by Kelleher. Could have been 2-0. Oh. Lads, this is, this is not good. Again, we're hanging on here. Kelleher, again, having to be the hero. All down Gomez's side yet again. Over and over again. He's getting rinsed. Diaz now. Still going. Go on, Lucho. Strike. Oof. Saved. Liverpool throw in. Unlucky. Better. Better, Lucho. Let's go. Come on. Good work, that, from Lucho. Forces Onana into a save at his near post. Come on, boys. Diaz. <sighs> Salah needs to wake up as well, by the way. Because he's been all kinds of... Ter it's like Salah's not even stretching or trying so far. Two lots of miscontrol. That one, if he hadn't made the movement to go behind, he might have got there. But he looked at the ball sailing over um, Wambasaka's head and just watches it go out of play. Not good enough for Mo either. He needs to wake up. Endo? Endo! Offside flags up. Oh, Offside flags up, of course. Salah's shoulder was leaning offside. He's offside. Salah's sho Salah shoulder was leaning off. You can see he's off. He's off, lads. I don't need VAR to tell me he's off. He's off. Hopefully, it will at least inject some energy. How has it taken VAR that long to show he's offside? I can see he's offside. Yeah. I don't know how it took them that long. I could see he was offside by looking at it. Offside. We're back on their way. Still scoreless. For us, I should say. Sorry. 1-0 to United. It's the right decision. He was offside. But we need to wake up. Do you think there should be foreign refs? I've said all the time, there should be a group of referees that um, that go around Europe and rotate around Europe's top leagues and for a whole host of reasons. But look, that was the right decision. He was offside. I've no issues with it. Goals correctly being ruled out. What a way. Should have been seven hill by now, said Jensk. Look, I appreciate all the banter and all. I get it. But I'm just not happy with what I'm seeing from my own team, you know. United are doing their job. We, um, we're, we haven't arrived yet but at least we did something there at least we showed we're capable um it was offside but you know it'll hopefully give them some confidence and spur them on six minutes to go plus stoppage time in the first half still united lead by that scott mctominay goal to nil gomez salah ball ricocheted offside again salah now offside the were forwards just not trained to look across the line. I don't know about that being offside either. I, I don't know about that being offside, by the way. I think the linesman's had a fucking mare there. I'm not having that. That wasn't even offside, by the way. But hey-ho. 
Says a lot, we're at our worst, it's an even match, said Cole Smith. It's not really even, mate, we're losing. The linesman guessed there, by the way, and got it wrong. Klopp better make some changes at half time. Ball in. Darwin. Back to Robbo. Oh, again! More wasted opportunities. If Vinny leaves Spain, we'll welcome him, said Corbin. Absolutely would, mate. Yes, but that's not the focus now. The focus is for us to wake up. Our fullback's letting us down today. Especially Gomez, which is. You know, not like Joe, who's had a great season, but today he's not at it. Rashford now, ball in, headed away this time by Jarrell Kwanzaa. Back in by Rashford, ball goes off. Aaron Wambasaka for a Liverpool goal kick. Kobe Mane is having a very good game in that United midfield. Doing very well. But um, our full-backs need to wake up. Something's not right, the balance isn't right. And Klopp needs to make sure he makes the necessary tweaks. A half time. Gomez. I mean, where are you off to? Come on, Joe. Ball to Robbo again. But this is great. It's all narrow and back inside. Come on. Good ball between the lines. The Sobo Sly. Again, more waste. Wins it back. Robbo, come on, boys. Come on. Someone said, love your positivity. I'm talking about what's in front of me, mate, in all honesty. You know, it can't, you can't be positive when your team's losing. And not playing well, you know, it's uh, it's not exactly been a joy to watch this so far. But there's still time. Three minutes plus stoppage time left in the first half. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe for Reds to buy some refs. Gomez is suffering today, said Tide Pods. I thank you for your super chat, mate. Appreciate you. I wonder will Klopp make the changes at half time or will he do the usual and want to give them 10 or 15 minutes to figure it out. Um, I hope he makes the changes. Oh, again. Come on, Lucho. Into the left channel, Robertson. Liverpool throw in. Yes, I know people are talking about Salah, Ramadan, fasting and all that. I understand that. But if he's struggling, and you know, if it is because he's fasting, no problem. But he'll need to be substituted. Um, whoever's underperforming out there will need to be changed. Regardless of the reasoning behind it. But go, the right side just doesn't look balanced. But we'll figure it out. Plenty of time. Oh, Kwanzaa. Darwin. Maka. Goal! Yes! 1-1! One, one. Alexis McAllister! Go on! 1-1! One, one. Alexis McAllister, our own Luka Modric, equalises just before half-time. He has shown up this season in a more familiar position... And he's absolutely tearing it up. Alexis McAllister equalises. It is Manchester United 1. Liverpool 1. Just checking there's no offsides or anything. There isn't. What a strike. Beats the keeper at the near post. There we go. 1-1 one, one just before half time. And you know what we don't do, folks? You know what we absolutely don't do? We don't blame it on the sunshine. We don't blame it on the moonlight. We don't blame it on the good times. Blame it on Alexis. And a bit on a nana beating at his near post, but I don't care. I don't care. Go on. 1-1. One, one. We're back in it. Da, 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 da. 
There we go. Alexa's doing bits. 1-1. One, one. Whoop, whoop. So, United fans, you were saying, come on now, bring the banter back, let's go. But Craig, where's all the confidence gone? But Craig, but Craig, blah, 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 but Craig, Manu, nah, nah, nah. come on, 1-1. One, one. Kwanzaa walk through the whole team. There you go. Four minutes of stoppage time. Add it on. Four minutes. As the great Churchill once said. Oh yes. Oh yes. Gomez now. Oh. Tripping up. That's it boys. That's it. Keep going. Do, 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 do. I wonder will there be time for a little bit of halftime manscaping by the lads and if they wanted to get themselves 20% off and free shipping. Now, I can't say for certain that Manscaped can deliver that quickly a half time, but, uh, you know, 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com using our discount code ANFIELD20. Your balls will absolutely thank you later. Da, 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 da. So we've got two and a half minutes of stoppage time left at the end of the first half. And it is 1-1. One, one. Up the Reds. Up the Reds, said DC's dead people. Thank you for your super chat. Darwin now. Strike. Drop. Salah. Golazzo. Molazzo. 2-1. Get the six pack out, Mo. Get the top off. 2-1. Whoop, whoop. What was that? What was that? Yes, it is. Manchester United 1. Your mighty Reds 2. Mohamed Salah owns Old Trafford. Bow down before him. He is your god. 2-1. Darwin makes the shot. It's saved by Onana. After that, it drops to Salah. And there is only going to be one result. And that's the ball going into the back of the net. Liverpool lead 2-1. It's all turned around. Can I get an amen? Woo! There we go. And all is right with the world. Da, 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 da. Go on! Can you hear that? Can, can, can you, if, you, if you listen really quietly, you can, hear, you can hear the Manchester United fans' tears hitting the ground. Plop, 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 plop. Wee, wee. Why are VAR looking at it now? What are they trying to shaft us with again? What are VAR trying to shaft us with? What are, what are they trying to screw us out of another goal for? That, what are, look. <laughs> How can this be looking by VAR? Would you get up out with that? Goal stands, goal stands. Liverpool 2-1 up at Old Trafford. Goal given, all is right with the world. Mohamed Salah, he built him a statue. He owns Old Trafford. Never mind all the other icons. Get a statue of Mohamed Salah and put it right in there. The man owns Old Trafford. It's the easiest goal you're ever going to get if you're backing him to score. Old Trafford, Mohamed Salah... The only downside was he didn't get a six-pack out. Maybe he feels like there's one coming in the second half. There he is! Ten lasso! Big heading him! Ten lasso! Whoop, whoop! You're getting the P45, son! It's all over! So, you did ask me about formations and all this kind of stuff. I did say to you guys, the formation that United will be in at the end of the game is the 11 Manchester United players in the formation of a load of babies in the fetal position, crying as Liverpool leave Old Trafford with a place in the semis. Whoop, whoop! 
Still time to go until the halftime whistle. But as we see here now, it is Manchester United 1. Liverpool, the greatest team got ever put on this planet, 2. Meh. Oh, yeah. There you are, 10 lasso. Look at you, you big fraud, you. Whoop, whoop. Oh, it's such a perfect day. I'm glad I spent it with you. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, such a perfect day. Half time, ladies and gentlemen. It is half time at Old Trafford. And Manchester United are not going to need any lube today whatsoever because the tears of Manchester United fans will be lubrication for us all. It is 2-1. Go on! 2 1. Whoop whoop! And it's only half time. Oh, lads. Get the bickies out! Oh, yes. And I, I don't care what the other lad is doing, by the way. I see lots of people in the chat. I don't care. I don't care what he's at. Let oh, no! Oh, damn it! Oh, God! Oh, it's the big boots! Don't care! Don't care! Drink it in. Bring it in. 2-1. And we didn't even play well. And we didn't even play well. Oh, lad. So, you know, remember the arrogance you're all accused me of, United fans? How does it feel now? Be honest. You want the nipples, don't you? You're not getting them, though. But you, what you are going to get is a whooping. I love the moment when Liverpool score. I just have to watch to see the United stands face. Who cares? Who cares? Just be here with us. Proper order. Celebrate with the positive vibes. Whoop, whoop. Da, 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 da. We're in Cork watching at a friend's house. Come on, Liverpool. Said Dave, say hello to Sinead for us, Dave, as well. Much love to you and the family. And look, at half time, it is, as you can see, confirmed on your screen. The clock's still going, Craig. Haven't even stopped the clock yet. There you go. Stop the clock. Can't stop the clock. You can't stop the clock. Uh, right. What have we got? This season, 21 goals and 13 assists for Mohamed Salah. 34 goals and assists in all competitions in 32 games. The great man. Can we just take a second to just give Salah his, his flowers here? We knew the other day that it was 20 goals and assists in seven plus seasons in a row. Mohamed Salah has scored 20 goals now in seven seasons in a row. 20. Seven in a row. Not bad for what people call the one season wonder. Uh, I'm not even joking. You're a good luck charm. Every time Liverpool are down, I put your stream on and somehow we come back. Said the Migro. I'm, I'm happy to take all the credit, mate. No problem. But you know what? It's all the more satisfying because we didn't even play that well. You know, we came into it in the last 10 or 15 minutes. But everything's going up. So I have a question for you. On your Liverpool Man United bingo card, do we have the early United goal giving them false hope? Check. Do we have an equaliser breaking their hearts? Check. Do we have Bruno Fernandes cry arse and already and getting booked for it? Check. Do we have Onana showing that he's a complete fraud? Check. Is the checklist complete? I think it is. No, it isn't. Mohamed Salah goal? Check. What we haven't had yet is Mo six pack coming out. But there's still time. Bruno, you absolute whinging joke of a cap. Imagine, being, imagine that being the captain of your football club. Imagine Bruno Fernandes, Mr. Wah, 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 being the captain of your football club. That's leadership there, isn't it? Anyway, let's have a little chat, shall we? Before we do, though, just a reminder, get yourself over to manscaped.com. 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com uh, using our discount code Anfield20. Whether that's the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, which all the hip kids are using, or anything that takes your heart's desire, our friends at Manscaped will make sure that you get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with our discount code Anfield20. Right, let's look at some stats from the first half. Liverpool with 58% of possession. And by the way, 
While we're talking about stats, little shout out to our friends at Lineup Builder who have just released their all new Lineup Builder. So do check out Lineup Builder, their code at UK or the Lineup Builder app. They help us power the stats for the game. It's 58% possession to Liverpool, 42% to United. Uh, 10 shots to Liverpool, 6 on target, 11. So United have had chances. 11 shots, 7 on target. 2 corners for Liverpool, 1 for United. Uh, total passes, 271 for Liverpool, 198 for United. Uh, passing accuracy, 88% for us, 78% for them. And XG, 1.68 for United. And Liverpool, 1.16. So, good news, United. You're winning in the XG department. Unfortunately, the scoreboard reflects the game differently. Uh, I think, did I miss another chat? No, nope, cool. I can go back to this one. Uh, Bumba Dog said, So Bradley in for Joe, Harvey for Sobosloy are way. Good reaction from the lads. Hoping to also get our usual halftime bounce. Right, let's have a look at the bench anyway and see what Klopp's options are. So we've got, we, we'd ignore Adrian because we know the goalkeeping situation. Uh, we've got Cody Gakpo, Harvey Elliott, Costa Simicus, Ryan Gravenberg, Bobby Clark, James McConnell, Jaden Dans, and Connor Bradley. If I was Klopp, the two changes I'd consider, depending on when he wants to do them, are Sobosly off and um Cost or excuse me, Elliott on, and I would take Gomez off and put Bradley on. They'd be the changes that I would make. So Sobosly off, Elliott on. And Bradley on, Gomez off. That would be my two changes. Also wouldn't mind if we brought Bradley on and put Gomez across the left back and took Andy Robertson off. Either of those two options would work fine for me. Uh, Craig, I have a two quid bet on today. 170 to 1 for a Nunes goal anytime. An Endo yellow. A Bruno yellow. Keller had three and a half saves. Three and a half offside combines. Maka one and a half shots. Six corners and VVD one and a half shots. Well, there's a lot there, mate. So if it comes in, you've definitely earned it. And best of luck to you for the second half. Uh, my God, Rashford is shocking, said Desi. Robbo has been decent. He's been okay, but I still don't think he's back to his best yet. Um, but he's not been as bad as Gomez. Gomez is... I think, Look, is that fair? I don't know if it's fair to say Gomez has been bad, but we're definitely being targeted down that side. Whether it's because Gomez is abandoning the space to go infield or not, I don't know. But I do think it's fair that we um, we look to correct it. Because United have had joy down our right-hand side. Uh, Bruno's the biggest crybaby. I'm going to change your words, Ryan, to crybaby in football. Thank you, mate. Let me just check something with the team. One second. Uh, Sebastian, thank you for your super chat, sir. Appreciate you. Right, well, I can't believe we turned that round right at the end of the first half. I thought we were going to be going in 1-1. I thought that would be more than enough. But to be going in 2-1 up, I will very much take that. We had a goal ruled out as well. Correctly ruled out. Salah's shoulder was a little bit offside. But it's the easiest It's the easiest prediction in world football. Salah to score at Old Trafford. It's, it just goes perfectly like butter and toast, like... Um, well, I was going to make a rude thing there, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to try not to be too rude today because it is a family day. It is St. Patrick's Day. Uh, Tito said, Craig, you get my super chat. Second one I've sent. Not seeing one, bro. There's one. Sorry. I hate Bruno Fernandes as a footballer. He's an actor. And a poor actor, Tito, my friend. A poor actor. He's such, such a crybaby. I know it's a lazy uh, trope to throw at him, but he is. He's such a cry arse, honestly. Like, you want your leaders to do something, to... Like, Kobe Maynew, as an example. He's leading by example for United out there. And Bruno, what does he do these days? United fans, genuine question. What does he do? I th <laughs> Apart from whinge and take too long to take free kicks and all, what does he actually do? Uh, Gladiators, thank you, mate, for your super sticker. Appreciate your support. And by the way, in case you haven't noticed, look at the top corner of the screen. 250,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Much love. Uh, no green today, Craig. Love from Dublin. No green today. Oh, green later. Too early for green, mate. Green later. 
Uh, Craig, I'm having a Guinness on you here in Cape Town. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you, Ed. And I hope it goes down well, mate. Uh, enjoy it and schlaunch it to you, sir. Roy Keane going mad. Well, does he have another setting? It's a joke. It's a joke. These boys out there are like langers. A lot of them. Langers. It's, it's an old back in my day. No one cares, Roy. No one cares. What's the score there, Royzer? What's the score? 2-1. Uh, glory, glory hole for Manchester United, said Rob Dance. They'd probably miss, mate. They'd probably go to put it through the hole in question and probably miss and end up with a fracture. A penile fracture. That's a thing, right? Watching from the pub, said Bobby. There you go, Bobby. Get them into you. Enjoy. Anybody who's celebrating uh, St. Patrick's Day, enjoy it. Have a good time. Who's your favourite Irishman to play for Liverpool? So it's between two. I'm going to say three. One of them were, were making honorary because he represented us. But Aldo, I know he's not Irish, but he played for Ireland. So Aldo, Kelleher and Ronnie Whelan would probably be the three that come to mind. Um, obviously, I loved Finnan as well, but always really admired uh, Ronnie Whelan. Uh, great pro. Queefe and Kelleher, I love the bits, obviously. And um, yeah, they'd be the three for me. But look, massive shout out to Steve Finnan as well. Uh, Gladiators, thank you for your super sticker. But I have one question for you. Are you ready? Contestants, ready? Let me do my best Mark Clattenburg impression there. Do you know Saeed TV? I know who Saeed is, yep. Yeah. Uh, you said I bet he's fuming right now. Well, look, if I was a United fan, I'd be fuming. So, you know, I've never spoken directly with Saeed, but I know who the gentleman is. And um, yes, I've no doubt United fans will be quite worked up now. But I'm feeling pretty good about life. Uh, got a feeling the Bruno comments could bite us on the arse, unfortunately, said Owen. Don't be worrying about Bruno, mate. The only thing that'll be bitten is Bruno's bottom lip as he quivers and cries when Liverpool leave Old Trafford with a place in the semi. <laughs> Craig's definitely hitting 300k this year, said Dania. I don't know, mate. Don't know. Don't don't want to think that far ahead. But look, today so far has been an unbelievable day. It's St. Patrick's Day. We hit 250k. We're 2-1 up at Old Trafford. I mean, that's a good day in my book. But we need to finish the day off. Uh, Ian Cahill said, Liverpool versus City in the FA Cup final. A repeat of the 2006 final. City could go 3-0 up and Liverpool to pull it back 3-3 and win on penos. I do get the feeling that we will play City in the final. If we get through, and look, I'm not saying this is done yet. It isn't. I've been around football long enough to know it isn't done. But we're in a good position. I've got a feeling Chelsea will get City and will get Coventry. I don't know why. Maybe it's wishful thinking on my behalf. Uh, happy Paddy's Day. Love from Lumnioch. So Jack FM. Thank you, mate. Much love right back to you. What's your favourite sport to watch except for football? Boxing. And by the way, the Nathan Heaney fight last night. Wow. If you guys tuned in to TNT Sport for that fight last night, absolutely incredible. I think it was British middleweight title and one of the international belts. Oh, my God. Did you watch that fight, lads, last night, Nathan Heaney? That is, that's what boxing's about. That's why you love boxing. That's not a, that's not a huge international fight. It's a domestic uh, dust-up, but oh, my God. My wife was watching it going, how is he still standing? It was incredible. And the levels of fitness and determination from both those men. Wow. What a card that was last night. What a fight it was. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day, says Owen Mullern. Or Mulhern, sorry, mate. Owen Mulhern. Hopefully us Irish Reds will have something to celebrate at the end. Still 45 minutes to go. Um, yes. Yes, a long way to go. But look, we've dragged ourselves back into a good position. Um... Somebody said, it was a classic last night, said legit uh, Enigma. Oh, mate, honestly, one of my favourite fights of the year so far. Absolutely incredible. Um, and might I say, just slightly off topic, there are not many men in this world that can really, truly pull off a tash. But Nathan Heaney, 
that moustache is, is a thing of beauty, mate. That was, um, yeah, that was mental. What a fight, though. Honestly, that was real enjoyable. Joe Joyce needs to retire. He was awful, Leherus. Look, Cash Alley is not at the level that Joe, Joe, that, uh, Joe wants to fight at. And he made hard work of Cash Alley, who, to be fair to Cash Alley, stuck at it. But yeah, it, that wasn't great from Joyce last night. Right, here we go. Second half about to get underway. 45 minutes left. Darwin now has 30 goals slash assists this season as well. So Mo and Darwin both doing incredible bits this season. Salah with 34 goals and assists so far. And Darwin Nunes with over 30 as well. Uh, second half about to get underway. Again, thank you to our sponsors. Don't forget you can get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com using our discount code Anfield20. Scan the QR code or use the link in the chat and in the description of the stream. Right, Liverpool playing from left to right in the second half. A place in the semi-final awaits. Right, we're underway. We are underway in the second half. Ball goes back to Jarrell Kwanzaa. Who does the decent thing and launches the ball out long left side. Where Victor Lindelof heads the ball. And uh, Liverpool have it back. Endo plays the ball infield. United carry it out though into the left channel. Marcus Rashford has a bit of space here. Rashford now. There with Gomez. Plays the ball in to Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Dominic Soboslai was tracking back. Ball ricochets off him. And it'll be a Manchester United corner. And what I can see, no, no substitute that I can see. Yes, we do have to give credit to Kelleher, 100%. Made some big saves in that first half as well. Nope, no changes that I can see for those asking, no, none. I will sink in a second, mate. I just got to get through the corner and then we'll sink. So we'll sink at 46.30. Just let me get through this corner. Garnacho with the corner goes short to Bruno. Back to Rashford. Rashford now goes for a run. Ball's taken off him though by Andy Robertson who plays it into the right channel. You'll never walk alone all the way from India. Abu's, welcome in mate. Great to have you with us. United in possession on the right side with Diogo Della. Right, I'm going to sink now at 46.30. So bear with me. Right, my friends. We are coming up to 46.30. 31. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Uh, Buffalo Soldier said, I said 3-1 pool win. So did I, sir. So did I. Right, let's go. Do, 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 do. Ball forward to Darwin, who's in the right channel. He's got Raphael Varane with him. Darwin turns inside. Ball across. Ooh, Onana claws it away to his near post Liverpool corner. I mean, he turned. If if I were the United fan there, I'd be asking, how on earth did Raphael Varane allow Darwin to turn him like that? And he nearly catches out Onana at his near post. And it will be a Liverpool corner. Onana saves it with one hand and then knocks it behind with the other. So Liverpool corner, right-hand side. We go short with it. McAllister out to Salah. Salah with a deep cross. Too close to the keeper, that. Out comes Onana to claim it. Uh, if you're going to put scores in the chat as a prediction, folks, lash the letter P after it, just so people don't think it's a fake score. Don't want anybody accidentally getting booted out. So, you know... Just stick the letter P beside a prediction, please. Right, Liverpool on the attack again. Diaz to Dom. Dom! Ooh, strike blocked. Liverpool throw in right-hand side. Better start to this second half from the Reds. Right, throw in taken by Gomez. Headed away by Varane. Endo. Mainu heads it away. Couple of ricochets around. Ball breaks now left side. Garnacho Turns in field. Looking for support. Ball played in. Van Dijk steps across and defends it well. 
He's a centre half. He's a number four. Watch him defend and we watch him score. He'll pass the ball, come as you like. Who is he? He's Virgil van Dijk. He's Virgil van Dijk. And he's just after absolutely pocketing United's attackers yet again. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Feels a lot better than it did 20 minutes into the game right now. I mean, I feel like if we score a third one, that's all she wrote. You've got four no's, Craig. Don't be stupid. I get the golden button all the way through to the next round, me. Salah. Mm, not a great pass there from Salah. I don't know what he was trying to do. Ball was straight at Onana. Now United have a chance to counter. Garnacho's popping up all over the place here. Ball in behind to Rashford, who's in a lot of space. Oof, cleared away. That's it, cleared. Throw in for United, near side. Cleared by Dominic Sobosly. Five minutes in. Score prediction. I'm sticking to my 3-1 prediction. The fans at the stadium are copying me and singing that song. I, I probably they probably heard me, you know. I assume that they're all in there watching Anfield Agenda as well at the game. Right, Liverpool now on the counter. Bit of space for Lucho to attack left side. Plays the ball into Salah. Ah, he tries to slip it in. He could have probably been greedier there. Still with Salah though. Leads two mil one nil. Thank you for that update, Mark. McAllister out to Darwin. They've all got Anfield agenda in their AirPods. I, I'd imagine so, Isaac. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Oh, I did say I had something to say to you guys actually about shows, didn't I? Sorry. So we are hoping to do a run of three shows the week before the season gets underway. So in August, we're hoping to organise three shows over five days. One in Liverpool, one in Birmingham and one in Cardiff. So if you are in those next of the woods, I'll keep you guys... Uh, up to date but the hope is the week before the Premier League gets on the way we're hoping to do three live shows ball in Kelleher makes a good save yes we're hoping to do a show in Liverpool a show in Cardiff and a show in Birmingham before the season gets underway I will give you guys more information when we get those dates booked in right Kelleher out to Kwanzaa Gomez Nice ball down the line to Darwin. Where in Brum? Don't know yet. Haven't found the venue yet for Birmingham. So bear with me. I will give you guys information when I have them. Bruno now for United. On the attack. Ball across the front of goal. And it goes all the way through, thankfully for us. For a throw in on the front. Oh, he's cry arson again. Where? 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 I want my mama. To be fair to him, we probably had a point. It did look like it took a nick off uh, Kwanzaa, but it's still funnier watching Bruno crying. Yeah, not sure about the venue for Birmingham, by the way. Uh, I'm looking at two different ones, one in Liverpool City Centre, one in Warrington, and then we're looking at one particular venue in Cardiff. But yeah, I need suggestions for venues in Birmingham. So feel free to um, email contact at anfieldagenda.com if you've got any suggestions for venues, and I'll check them out. Right, United now, starting to look like they're going to try and push forward here a little bit and turn the screw. Maynou, Garnacho, again United appeal for another cheap penalty. That's it ref, don't give them another cheap free, about time you stood up. Salah, ah, Darwin, ooh! Doesn't make the connection he needs, but again, promising counter-attack. And finally, the ref grows a pair and doesn't give United another cheap free. I mean, the penalty shouts here are being hilarious. Oh, I 
ricocheted up and hit his hand. You, you do know that's not a pen so why are you even appealing for it, like? Oh, strike there. Block down. Liverpool now, our chance to attack. I mean, the game's opening up now. Diaz. Still Diaz. Turns past Dallow. Look for support, mate. Somebody give him support. Back to McAllister. Robbo now. Choo -choo. Liverpool just playing little one twos here in the middle of the park. Just trying to tempt uh, United onto them, but United just don't look like they're bothered. Ball down the line again to Gomez here. Cross in. Oh, cleared away by United. Wan Bissaka now. Look at the space again. Garnacho's in here. Game's totally end to end at the moment. Again, United looking for a cheap free kick that John Brooks doesn't give them. Fair play. The Bond in Birmingham. Can you email that to me? Anybody wants to email venue suggestions? Absolutely appreciated. But contact at anfieldagenda.com, please. Contact at anfieldagenda.com and uh, I will get back to you and I will absolutely appreciate your suggestions. Right. Soboslai. Back to McAllister. To Soboslai. Hit it. Ooh. Forced Onana into a save and it goes behind for Liverpool corner. The Reds are starting to... Starting to find a bit of space here. And, and look, we remove fake scores. I keep telling you week after week, ignore the chat. I'll tell you when the ball's in the net or not. Ignore the chat and stuff like that. And we do do it immediately when they come in, but it takes 10 or 15 seconds for... Um, for the uh, notification to change for you. So when we do it, it takes a few seconds before the boot it out. Ball in. Ooh, headed away. Will I be selling merch? I haven't thought about it yet, in all honesty, mate. Um, so I don't want to give you a, uh, an incorrect answer. I don't know is the honest answer. Sofa score is telling me. There you go. See, ha. See, I would give them the plug, but we're being sponsored by Manscaped today. Right, 56 and a half minutes gone at Old Trafford. Manchester United 1, Liverpool 2. What's the venue for Cardiff? I don't want to say till I have it booked. Um, yeah, I'm trying. Uh, we're trying to um, book everything before we tell you the venues, just to make sure. Darwin now to McAllister. Out to Salah. Salah's ball in blocked. Another oh, that's a bit. Uh, he's on a yellow as well, ref. By the way, he's on. Look, shut up, you cry arse. So, how is he not sent off? That should one hundred percent be a booking. Bruno should be gone. How the referee has bottled giving him a yellow card here, I don't know. That is absolute cowardice from the ref. Fernandez is laughing out there. Brooks, you bottled it again, mate. You bottled it again. Same lad that bottled it previously has done it again. How is that not another yellow for Bruno? Lads, this is just nonsense. He should be sent off now. Yet again, referees not doing their job. Absolute nonsense. How many times do we have to get shafted by a referee? He should be off the pitch now. Gone. Bruno hits the ball. That doesn't matter. 
Are you, have you not understood yet that getting the ball isn't the be-all and end-all? He follows through with his studs up and hits him. Always the victim's chant from the Strefford end. Be better. Absolute scum. Strefford end singing always the victims. McAllister free kick over the bar. Strefford end showing their absolute pathetic nature yet again. James Pierce of the Athletic tweeting always the victims chant from the Strefford ends. Scum. Don't want to hear it anymore. Fed up of it. Soon as it doesn't go your way, yet again. The low-life scumbag behaviour from certain sections of fan bases comes out. Pathetic. Pathetic. Can't, can't handle losing a game. Have to go with the always the victims. Scumbag behaviour, whoever's singing that. I mean, the refs gifted you the fact that Fernandez is still on the pitch. And we're doing the always the victims part. And this is a yellow. So this is going to be a yellow for Gomez. But that... Oh, you... F <laughs> oh, God almighty. So Gomez wins the ball. Wins the ball. Both their feet are the same height. And Gomez gets the yellow for winning the ball. Both of them foot same height. Both of them exactly the same height going for the ball. Gomez gets there first. Juan Bissaka goes on the ground and our player gets booked for getting there first and winning the ball. This ref is an absolute omadon. Shenanigans isn't strong enough a word. An absolute disgrace. Absolute disgrace. So Fernandez goes studs in, doesn't get a yellow. We win the ball, two foot at the same height, yellow, and a free. John Brooks should never be near a top-level game because he's out of his depth. Pathetic. Ian Doyle. United fans, you need to sort your... Sh Ian Doyle singing, the, saying that United fans are singing The Sun Was Right Murderers. Sing a large section of the Stratford End. How many of them are going to be evicted from the ground? So we've now had the sun is right, murderers, and always the victims. Because you're losing a game of football. You pathetic excuse of humans. Whoever is singing that, nah, scum. I'm not talking about all United fans, by the way. I am not But whoever is singing that should be evicted from the stadium and have their season tickets revoked. Absolute pathetic can't handle losing a game of football. Scum. But nothing will be done about it, of course, because apparently Scouts is a fair game. Oh, good strike, Darwin. Forces Onana into a save. Honestly, that's two major journalists there. One from the Athletic, one from the Echo. Both reporting of tragedy chants from the United End. What were they singing? One was singing Always the Victims. And the other one was singing The Sun Was Right, Murderers. Scummy, scummy, scummy. I hope you get banned, every single one of them. That is disgusting. Ball in. Strike, blocked. McAllister. Flicked on, unlucky, Salah can't quite keep it in, did he? Well, it looks like he did keep it in on the far side. I hope they are getting thrown out of that stadium, honestly. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of it. I'm sure Liverpool fans are as well. Tin pot fans can't handle losing a game of football. Let's see if... Sky, BT, and all of them who want to stamp out hate from the game. Let's see how much they have 
a backbone to call United out for their scummy behaviour. Gomez. Most importantly though, let's stick the boot in and score a third and really make them upset. Tobas like the Gomez. By the way, this is the same idiot who ruled out the Diaz goal at Spurs, ref in the game. So he rules out a perfectly good goal because he's too tired from his jaunt abroad, probably. And uh, now he's not given yellow cards for yellow card challenges because Bruno would have to be sent off. But given Gomez a yellow card for winning the ball, it's you could make this stuff up. Diaz now. Salah. Ooh, just not enough power on it. Onana makes the save. 65 minutes on the clock. It's Manchester United 1. Liverpool 2. I didn't say it was the ref, Kino. I said the ref today was the one who made the Diaz call. Brooke was on VAR that day, if I'm not mistaken. Or was it England? One of them. I thought it was Brooke. But I think he was on VAR. It's him or England. I can't remember. I think it was Brooke. Gomez. Uh, Nicholas here, United, they're dreadful. Yeah, yes, Mr. Jackson. Indeed they are, sir. But their fans and their behaviour, even worse. And look, I'm not talking about all United fans. I know that there will be a large section of United fans who are equally as disgusted, but that's tin pot. It was England, thank you. It was Darren England. My apologies and get the refs mixed up there. That's on me. Hands up. But let's just enjoy for the moment that we're 66 minutes in and uh, ahead. And the game is stretched out now. I'd expect more chances for both sides before now and the end of the game. Sobosly, good challenge on him from Rashford. Yes, Jarrell. Good bit of play. Gomez, Sobosly, ball back across. I wonder, I mean, surely Klopp has to um, look to the bench soon to get some fresh legs on. I mean, I, I get where he's coming from. At the moment, we look like we're toying with United. So I do feel like Elliot, this game is crying out for Elliot, though. So, Scott, he said, Craig, can you hear the you'll, all, you'll never work again on TV? I don't want, I watch the games on mute, mate. So I um, I never hear. I'm just reporting what Ian Doyle and James Pierce are tweeting. You know, both them gentlemen are at the game covering it. Uh, we did. It was Darren England for the Spurs game again. Just confirmation on that. My apologies. My apologies to Mr. John Brooks, I should say, for that, for incorrectly um, f giving him the finger for that one. Three quarters of the game gone. The Reds are still in the lead at Old Trafford. A place in the semi-final of the FA Cup at stake. Oh, good ball in behind. Oh, oh Onana. Onana came rushing out of his goal and yet somehow still managed to play the ball sideways. It's a Liverpool throw-in on the far side. McAllister. Salah. Back to Jarrell Kwanzaa. Kelleher. Oh, poor clearance. Ball breaks though. Robbo over left side. Robbo. Oh, come on. Salah. Ball pulled back. Oh, again, lads, we're making this look too hard. We've got into good goal scoring opportunities here. We need to kill this off. 
Uh, Jarrell looks like he's re just reversed matchups age, said Whitehammer. Yeah, he's doing well. Doing well. McAllister. Again, Liverpool just moving the ball around. Trying to draw United onto them. Spaces are starting to appear in there. Gomez now. Salah. Spaces out there on the left. That's the ball. Diaz. Robertson. Into Mo. Tries to slide it through to Darwin. Over hits it and it goes through to Onana. 20 minutes plus stop. It's time to go with Old Trafford. Liverpool leading by two goals to one. And looking fairly comfortable. I mean, surely Kloppo has to get a change or two made soon, just to freshen this up. Uh, do you think we should keep trying to get a third or maybe defend and make it boring? Um, I think naturally the opportunities will be there to stretch the game and look for a third. But I wouldn't take chances, um, my friend. I wouldn't take chances. But I think they will come naturally as United push forward in search of an equaliser. Goal kick. And the United are making a change here as Rasmus Hoyland is going off. And, um, I mean, the A-team is coming off the bench now. Dun, 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 dun. Here comes Anthony and Maguire. I'm sure that's absolutely raising the spirits of all the United fans around the world now. You thought it was all done and dusted, but then, then you see Maguire and Anthony and you know things are going to be all right. And here comes Harvey Elliott for Dominic Sobosly. Good change, Klopp. Good change. Here comes Harvey. <laughs> Kelleher goes long up the field. So Maguire is coming on to be an auxiliary forward, I'd imagine. Is it just hoof long balls up to Maguire now and hope that he gets that uh, head of his on one? Sorry for my spelling watching you and the game. All good, sir. All good. And thank you for your super chat. Right, we're only 30 odd likes away from 2,000 likes, so please do hit the like button. I mean, it's Paddy's day. We've hit 250k subs. We're winning at Old Trafford. Come on now. Hit the like button. McAllister. Elliot. Into the right channel. To Mo. Go on, Mo. Again, a bit too much on it there for Mo. Mainu passes it back. And Onana goes long, but it'll be straight back at United. Van Dijk. I mean... Did, did I just see that right? Did he win the ball there? Was that a foul? Van Dijk clears it away. But can I see a replay of that, please? In the middle of the park, because... That looked like a foul to me, but I haven't seen a replay of it. Anthony, strike wide, goal kick. The draw for here's no, this is the the draw for the semis is um, after the game, so we will bring it to you on the match reaction show. Yeah, again, some really questionable decisions from the referee today, and how Bruno Fernandez is still on that pitch, I do not know. We do need to wake up. We're starting to let them creep back into this now. Garnacho. Ball back to Bruno. His strike is blocked. Still Garnacho. Oh, this time another dive. 
The ref at least has been consistent in giving nothing. Oh, yeah, that's a free. Well done, Mo. Well done, Mo. Mo Salah, Mo Salah, Mo Salah. Running down the wing. Salah, la, 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 la. The Egyptian king. He's just, he's pulling out the tricks and all now. 16 to go. Kwanzaa. To Gomez. Andy Robertson. McAllister. Salah. Out wide right to Elliot. Elliot strike deflected over the bar. Goal kick. Goal kick. Liverpool corner. If you haven't subscribed, by the way, folks, please do take a sec, hit that subscribe button. Where's Klopp gone? Double 15 second ads and didn't skip them. Love that, mate. Well in. Corner was wasteful. Straight into the arms of Onana. That goes out of play. Liverpool throw in inside the United half. Right, Liverpool making a double change here. Connor Bradley and Cody Gakpo coming on. Connor Bradley and Cody Gakpo. So Salah off and I think Robertson off and Cody Gakpo and Connor Bradley on. So Bradley on, Gomez will go across to left back and Andy Robertson off. Right, here we go. So Salah for Gakpo and Bradley for Robbo with Joe Gomez going across to play at left back. Well then, boys, come on, wakey, wakey. Why Salah off? I would imagine a mixture of fatigue and working his way back to fitness. And I don't know, maybe the fact he's fast and I'm not sure on that one. But certainly I don't think, with a playing 90 minutes the other day, I don't think anybody expected to play another 90 here. But um, look, I, I've no issues with the changes. 13 minutes to go. Uh, and look, Mo did start to look like he was tired, in fairness. And he has played a lot of football there over the course of three or four days. So, not surprised. Garnacho, Bradley gets back, gets a block in, corner to United. That ball's not even overhanging there. By the way, that ball isn't even overhanging, but. They look for Maguire at the back post. Headed away. That's a poor header from Gomez, straight to Anthony. Maynou. Diagonal ball across to Garnacho. His ball across is defended at the near post by Van Dijk. Back with Bruno Fernandes. Diaz now to Gakbo. Four, five on two here. Elliot. Ah, oh, come on, lads. Five on two and we make a mess of it. 
Come, we can't be that wasteful. Uh, United, Chelsea, City, Arsenal. Who do I hate the most? City, without any doubt. Like competitively, United, but I respect United as a club. Definitely City in that list. Chelsea second, United third, and Arsenal fourth. I don't mind Arsenal. I'm disgusted at those sections of the United fan base singing those scummy songs today, but other than that, I don't hold that against the whole United fan base. But how do we make a mess of that? Five on two. Kobe Mainu going off from Manchester United to be replaced by Christian Eriksen. He's a good player, Mainu. United fans have a, a lot to be happy about with his future. Definitely looks like a proper, proper good midfielder. Oh, such a waste. Five on two, like. Hey, there's Brian. How are we, Brian? Gifting 50 Anfield Agenda memberships. Hope the gig goes well today, sir. Thank you, Brian. We didn't think we'd see you today, Brian. But there we go. Thank you, mate. Much love. Appreciate it. Brian with the 50. Absolute legend. What a day today, my friends. We've had Brian give 50. Barry Griff. There's another 50 from Brian. That's 100. Wow. That's 170 gifted memberships today all in. Imagine not being with the Anfield Agenda community. Absolute hero. And another 50. That's 215 today. Wow. <laughs> Brian, you're a lunatic in a good way. In a good way. And of course, we look forward to catching up with you, sir. On Thursday, when we visit Boston. There you go. Imagine not being here. Another 50. That's 250 all in. 270 all in today. Oh, my days. The chat's going too quick. I can't see. I'm getting dizzy. Bradley, ball across. I'm confused. Too much happening. Brian, man, thank you. What just that's That's ridiculous. In a good way. Absolutely incredible. Thank you all so much. Brian, Barry, everybody. The guys that are with us in the chat. Unbelievable, thank you. We got a goal now to kill this game off and we're all good. Chat's moving 100 miles an hour as well. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget, do hit the subscribe button if you are in. That's one, two, three. Is that five? Did I count five? Or f That's ridiculous. And uh, Congrats to everyone that got a membership there, by the way. Eight minutes plus stoppage time still to go in the game. Ball infield to Elliot. Elliot out right hand side to Gakbo. Uh, Becoming human gifted five memberships. Thank you, mate. Very kind of you. Appreciate you. Corner to Liverpool. Tyson Fury looks uh, unhappy. Good, because he's a United fan. So delighted he's not happy. Again, wow. To everyone that's gifted memberships, thank you so much. To everyone that's received memberships, enjoy. Amazing. Liverpool corner here, right-hand side. Seven minutes plus stop, it's time to go. Ball in from Alexis. Headed over the bar from Darwin. Goal kick United. The draw for the semi-finals will take place after the game here, for those asking. And we will bring it to you in our match reaction. Wow. 
And don't forget, those of you who are going to join us for the show in Boston, Brian will be there in the night as well. You can get to meet him and say thank you or hello in person, as well as JC and a few others who are coming in for the show. Absolute legends, thank you. Cannot wait to get to Boston. Next Friday night, we will be on stage in Boston. Cannot wait. Six to go, plus stoppage time. Still just the one goal in it. But thankfully, that one goal lead is in our favour. Uh, but Brian, I don't know if you're still with us or not, mate, but I got everyone to wish you well for your gig earlier on. Loads of people were wishing you well for your Paddy's Day show. Brian's uh, in a band as well, and he's uh, he always does shows on big days, and Paddy's Day is one of them. He's in New York, so best of luck to you and the band for the show, Brian. Right, change here for United. Varane gone off. Uh, Owen, welcome to Anfield Agenda FC, mate. Owen M, welcome in. Five to go, plus stop, it's time. Once again, the best community on YouTube, said Jake Ledger. Absolutely, mate. I am absolutely blown away by the generosity of, of Brian and, and others in the group. Barry as well, of course. Incredible. Don't know what we've done to deserve it, but we greatly appreciate it. Four and a half minutes. I mean, we're making hard work of this. I feel like we should have killed it off at this point, but it's Darwin now on the attack. Cuts inside. Rolls it across to Elliot. Again, it's one touch too many. Strike! It's weak and into the ground from N or from Diaz. I feel like we could have killed this game off a few times now. I see the linesman didn't get his flag up there when there was an offside. Two all. And that should have been offside. It's 2-2. Two, two. Oh, the wasted opportunities. That should have been an offside in the build-up, by the way. I'm saying it out loud now. Lines but didn't put the flag up because Liverpool half cleared it. Look, offside there. Rashford, not given. How was that not given? Where was the flag? Uh, thank you, Alan O'Brien. Appreciate you, mate. I'm sorry, lads. How was that not given for offside in the build-up? More nonsense. More nonsense. We can still win it with Captain Chaos. Yes, but it should have been done by now. No, nope, didn't even look at it for offside. No. Nope. No, nope. VAR's blo VAR doesn't work. VAR only works when they punish us. How was that not offside in the build up? Robbed again. Again. It's it's not even funny. Anymore. Like I, I don't even know what to say. And then we fit the bar. Diaz. Post was hit. Oh. Honestly, like I, I give up with referees anymore. Like honestly, I don't understand how that was an offside. 
The Lino never put his flag up because we half cleared it when Rashford was offside and the second ball ends up in the goal. Again, officials not doing their job. And again, the wastefulness from us making this game far more difficult than it needed to be. For those saying it wasn't off, watch the first phase of play where Rashford was about three yards offside and the lino doesn't flag it. Anyway, we've got additional time and potentially extra time to go. Throw in far side, about to find out the additional time. Four minutes. Wow. Four minutes added on. Four minutes. Our defence really has a lot of questions to answer about how cheaply we give up goals. Anyway, we are where we are. Cry? No one's crying, mate. You're only united. You're not that important to us. Fucking weird little freak cry it takes more than you mate it takes more than you to make us cry don't worry about that headed away again by bradley we've had one of the four minutes looks like as things stand, we're going into uh, extra time, which is on us. We should have finished this game off a long time ago, but and Bruno shouldn't be on the pitch. But hey ho, again, rules only apply in our direction. Apparently, Bruno should be sent off, and Rashford should have been offside in the build up to their goal, and we should have defended better. And United fans are scumbags, singing the always the victims. And the sun was right chance, but apparently that doesn't matter. We need to uh, sort this out. Our defence conceding too many cheap goals. This game's been way harder work than it needed to be. Kelleher gets two hands on that. I think I'm just thinking back to that 5v2 and still trying to figure out how we didn't score. Five against two, and we still managed to make a mess of it. And now we're hanging on in here at the end of this game, in all honesty. United are the ones pushing, looking for a winner. Cleared off the line there by Kwanzaa. Oy, oy. Elliot with a challenge. Throw into United left side. Right. Throw in here Lindelof to take it. It's up in the air. Bradley flicks it. I mean we could have cleared it better than that. Garnacho now. Cross in. Clear your lines, boys. Jeez, clear your lines. Again, headed away. Straight back in. Oi, oi, oi. We're hanging on in here at the moment. As the clock ticks towards... 
the 94 minutes. Fifteen seconds to go. Rashford. Oh! Thank God! Oh my God, we should be out. We should be out. Rashford has just missed what should have been the winner for United, thankfully for us. He steers it wide of the post. Oh my God. We should be out. Oh, you oh, so lads, we're lucky. We are very, very lucky. And it's all over. We're going to extra time. Oh, lads, that oh. wow, proper cup tie. How on earth we went from being two one up with chances and chances and looking comfortable. To nearly be knocked out at the death. And we're into extra time. United fans will be still sitting there shaking their heads wondering how on earth you haven't just won that game. Oh my days. Lads, this is a mental cup tie. Both sets of fans are going to be sitting here right now feeling, how are we here? What we can say for certain is we are going to extra time and both managers will get one more change. From our perspective, and I only try to look at this from a Liverpool perspective, we need to be more clinical in the final third. Again, our defence is just so weak. I don't understand how we can see so many second balls, but we've gone from probably should have won that game three or four one to not killing it off. United doing their part and playing back in and Anthony getting the equaliser. And then Marcus Rashford being a toenail's thickness away from knocking us out of the cup. We need to sort this out. Klopp needs to get into these lads now and Verge needs to start stepping up and calming things down here. Because the way that game ended, momentum very, very quickly shifted in United's favour and we need to calm down. Is extra time golden goal? No, no more golden goal in football, mate. We'll get the 30 minutes of extra time and if necessary, penalty kicks. From our perspective, obviously Mo has gone off, so Mo won't be involved nor taking a penalty. Um, Andy Robertson went off as well. He was replaced by Connor Bradley. So Joe Gomez at left back, Bradley's at right back. I can't get away from that five on two though, that Elliot made a mess of. And I've got to put my hands up and say Elliot made a mess of it. Because he was in possession of that ball in the 5v2. And there's no excuse to not scoring from that. None. Not good enough from us. But look. An extra 30 minutes. We are, uh, we're set for extra time. I would sell Gakpo for a bag of Cheetos. Said Andrew K. It was Gakpo that made the pass. Some people. There was a couple of them. There was two opportunities. There was two opportunities, and yes, either way, not being good enough. We should have finished that off. But Ben just messaged me here, obviously, as a United fan, saying, Rashford, dot, 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 just dot, 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 what? I mean, we get 30 more minutes of football before the international break. I mean, I don't want the 30 minutes of additional football, but we get them. Is a full time. Yes, mate, we're going into extra time. And it is three or two two. So, a couple of quick things before we get into extra time. One, if you haven't subscribed, folks, please do drop a like on the stream as well. Two, thank you for being with us today. And three, don't forget uh, to check out our amazing subscribe our amazing sponsors, Manscaped. You could get yourself 20% off and free shipping 
of the all new performance package 5.0 ultra or anything that your heart desires over at manscape.com use our qr code or the link in the description to get yourself 20 percent off and free shipping manscape.com 20 percent off and free shipping with our code anfield 20 but look i mean this is one of those rare occasions where both sets of fans right now will be looking at this game our rashford was off Rashford was off. That wouldn't have counted. So we can forget the end of that because Rashford was offside. So it wouldn't have counted. Um, but yeah, look, we're about to get underway in extra time. United playing from left to right. And we're underway in extra time, my friends. We are underway in extra time. Diaz, infield to McAllister. I don't know who that reverse ball was back to, but it goes out for a throw-in. Right, refocus. Do you think Arsenal can beat City after the international break? Uh, no, I, I don't. I hope they do, but no, I don't expect them to beat them. Diaz, or Endo, excuse me, McAllister. Virgil. Elliot, back to Virgil. To Darwin, right-hand side. Darwin, oh, that's a free kick, ref. Oh, Brooks, give it up, mate. Just give it up. Right, let's see how this extra time pans out. Kwanzaa nods the ball back down, but again, second ball's United first. Kwanzaa clears it from inside. Oh, what are you doing? He gave it straight to McTominay, for the love of God. Anthony, he's leaning back when he strikes and it goes over the bar. That all came. From Jarrell Kwanzaa chipping the ball straight to McTominay. What is he at? Put your boot through it, mate. Gakpo gets fouled. Free kick to Liverpool. Two minutes gone in the first period of extra time. Gakbo, Endo, Kelleher. Is anybody going to be brave and go for this, do you reckon? Or are both teams going to sit here and uh, see if they can uh, get a set piece or something? Or if somebody going to try and attack this and go win it? Bradley. Gakpo. Gomez. Ball dinged in behind looking for a Liverpool player, but out comes Onana to claim it. Oh, my days. Onana goes long, upfield. That should have been a foul. I mean, the sideways passing across our back line is quite frustrating at times. Kwanzaa now on a burst forward. Cuts inside. Pulls it back to Elliot. McAllister, again the attack breaks down. He's off, don't play it. Yeah, he knew he couldn't. Bradley's wandered into an offside position. McAllister, 
Back out to Bradley. Gakpo. Ball in. Headed by McAllister. Drops the wrong side of the post. Goal kick. Yeah, it's not the greatest of headers that from Alexis. I mean, Onana's time wasting here already. Oh my days. Gakpo, wake up! He just turned inside and played the ball straight to a United midfielder. That is absolutely shocking. What is Gakpo on? That's Gakpo's. I don't know what he's doing. Honestly, I don't know what he's doing. Headed away again by Kwanzaa. Second ball. Shock horror. United are there. Every so lads. We're letting them win every second ball. Uh, congrats. You've more penalty experience, said Jensk. I shouldn't have gone. Shouldn't be in this position, Jensk. We should have seen out that game at 2-1 and should have scored a third, but we didn't. You guys did your job and capitalised. Anthony with the equaliser. I'm just um, I'm just frustrated because we look like a disjointed unit now after the changes that were probably made as Klopp thought we could see out the game. But now that we haven't, we're looking a little bit all over the place, if I'm being honest. Every time, just giving the ball away again. Corner to United, every time. McAllister and Endo had so much time in the centre of the park there. And they couldn't get in each other's way and then gift the ball back to United. Oh, lads, lads, lads. Right, corner about to be taken. Headed away to the near post by Connor Bradley. Garnacho strike is blocked and defended. It's back inside the United half. Fernandez goes back to his keeper. Long diagonal ball up field and it gets to Maguire. How on earth? How on earth is Harry Maguire getting in behind their defence? I'm going to say that again just so everybody can hear me. How is Harry Maguire ghosting in behind our centre backs? Maguire! Free kick to Liverpool. For the love of God. I hope we don't play like this in the league game, said the Void dude. Let's see if we can figure something out from this. 
United holding a line about five, six yards ahead of the 18 yard box. McAllister over the free kick. It's too much on that. Too much on that. All the way straight through to Onana. Absolutely wasted. So Gomez now in possession. Yeah, extra time has been all United. I agree. We have not looked good here in the first period of extra. And Diaz now giving the ball away to them. Lads, our boys are absolutely shocking at the minute. Gifting the ball away. Oh, side netting. Fucking hell. Lindelof now gets in behind. His strike, thankfully for us, hits the side netting. Oh, lads, 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 lads. Here comes Costas. Costas on to replace Joe Gomez. Five minutes left in the first period of extra time. First thing Costas does is come on and foul and give United a free kick. We need to figure something out here because United have been a better side in extra time, let's be honest. Yes, Danz is on the bench for those asking. Garnacho. Rashford. Gee, for the love of God, we're giving the ball back to them time and time again. Well, we're not even playing our way out. We're giving the ball back to them. It's absolutely stupid. Van Dyke now. Again back to Kelleher. Kelleher goes long. Oh. Diaz is all over the place here. He wins the ball and then plays a five yards behind our attacker. Flag was up against Rashford there anyway, but that was shocking. That all came from Diaz giving the ball away again. Kwanzaa, we have 90 seconds of the first period of extra time to go. Ball crossed in, again from Diaz, it's blocked off Lindelof, Liverpool throw in. Another throw in. (sighs) 
We're inside the final minute of normal time in the end of the first half of stoppage time. It's not looking great, Elliot. Deflection. Goal! Yes! Elliot! Whoop, whoop! Our boy! Harry! Big dirty deflection! Big filthy goal! 3-2! Harry Elliot! Deflection! Past Onana! Boom! Woo! 3-2! Completely undeserving, but I completely don't care. 3-2! Elliot takes a chance, hits the strike, it's deflected, past Onana, 3-2! Throw in from Bradley. Ball goes back to Elliot. Edge of the box. Takes a touch. Deflects off. Anthony as well. Oh, Anthony's having a worldie. Oh, no, it's Ericsson. Sorry, it's off Ericsson. Whoop, whoop. Harvey Elliot. Oh, yes. It is Manchester United 2, Liverpool 3. Big, wicked, horrible deflection, and it's past Onana before he knows what's up. Onana, oh, what's the score? Onana, oh, what's the score? What's the score? What's the score? Onana, oh, what's the score? Can we stop giving them the bleeding ball? Can we stop giving them the ball, please, for the love of God? Oh, Mad Edit's about to be banned for a fake score. Imagine getting gifted a membership and then fake scoring in the chat and getting banned. Uh, nobody... Noodle Hair Elliot, Noodle Hair Ronaldo, said Aaron Garza. Noodle Hair 3 2. Whoop, whoop. Thank you for your super chat, mate. Right, a half time and extra time. Let me just stop the clock. It is Liverpool who lead by three goals to two. A goal out of nothing from Harvey Elliott took a wicked deflection past Andre Onana. And I only have one question. Oh, Nana, what's the score? Oh, Nana, what's the score? What's the score? What's the score? Whoop, whoop! Now, lads, now, we've already been one goal ahead and not seen it out. Be lovely if we could not give them the ball back at every opportunity here in the second period of extra time. But we do have a little advantage. And look at the travelling cop. Look at them. Absolute heroes. Whoop, whoop. Elliot, you beauty. I don't want to hear a single person bad mouth on them said Mahmood. I'm with you, Mahmood Farood. I'm with you, sir. Absolutely. Right, anyway, we have a second period of extra time to go. Do hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, folks. Great to have you with us. Big, big 15 to go. It's not over yet. 15 to go, but we've put ourselves back in the box seat. So I'm just going to start the clock again, counting upwards to 15 minutes. Oh, travelling cops absolutely bouncing, mate. Absolutely bouncing. And again, shout out to our sponsors, Manscaped.com. Don't forget, you can get yourself 20% off and free shipping at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at Manscaped.com by using our link in the description or the QR code on the screen. And thank you to our sponsors, and Manscaped. Right, we're about to start the clock again. Liverpool playing from left to right. Mason Mount is on for United. I nearly forgot he played for United, in all honesty. Right, we're underway. Second period of extra time. Ball's back with Kelleher. Goes long up the pitch, out left side. Ball goes straight out for United throw in. Right, 15 big, big minutes. Oh, 
Oh, Bruno's down with the boo boo. Here comes Beckham, yep. Right, boys, defend, defend. Kelleher's ball, come keeper. There you go. Fall to the ground. There you go, Kelleher. That's the one. Pulling Onana on it, mate. Waste all the time of the world. Because it was fine when United were wasting time. Ref had nothing, nothing to moan about there. So surely, you know, they'd be absolutely understanding if we do as well. Thank God we didn't sign Mason Mount, said the void dude. Yes, I'm, I'm with you on that one, sir. Elliot. Ball out left side. Darwin gives chase. Go on, Darwin. Go on. Liverpool throw in on the far side. Do hit the like button, friends, if you haven't done so. Can we get it to 3,000 likes? We're about 500 away. If you haven't hit the like button, please do. And also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As you can see, well, we've hit 250,000. What a day to do it as well. Travelling cop in full voice. You can see them bouncing up and down. Gakpo. It's, again, it's not good enough, Cody. Second ball won by Endo. Out to Elliot. Ball played upfield by Endo. United player heads it away. Victor Lindelof. Liverpool throw in on this near side. Take some time, boys. You know, no rush here. Right. Feels like this is going to feel like a long 15 minutes, right? Well in. Well in. Ah, we've given it back to them again. Diaz does great. Here he goes again. Go on, Lucho. Unlucky, son. Unlucky. Good fighting spirit there from Lucho. Come on. Defend from the front, boys. Defend from the front. Onana goes long. Header into midfield. McAllister. Endo. Again, we're second balls. Second balls, we're losing. I don't know who that ball was attempted to there. I think that was from Ericsson. But it's over hit and it goes straight behind for a Liverpool goal kick. So Kelleher gets a yellow. This referee's a dope. Kelleher gets a yellow, but Onana can take a minute to take a free kick. The ref's just going through the motions now. It's absolute nonsense. That yellow card's a nonsense. Anything to pacify the little crybabies in the stands. And we won't forget. I definitely won't forget this. The singing of always the victims and the sun was right, your murderers. I won't forget this. And I don't think many Liverpool fans will either. Because, again, pettiness. Can't have been beaten. Resort straight to slander. Another stupidly cheap free kick the ref gives to United because their players are falling on the ground. The absolute state of this. Everything. Every little half foul, half free, anything. United players fall down. Brooks has given them free kicks. Maguire. Kelleher saves. Of course he does. Kelleher there again. Making the big save.
Fernandez. Liverpool play their way out. Come on, boys. Come on. The amount of wasted, wasted three on fours and five on twos. The amount of wasted opportunities on the counter attack today is not even funny. Darwin this time, slow to release the ball and make the right option. Man on Elliot. Who was that to? Kwanzaa releases the ball up the right hand side, but there's no one there. It's coming straight back at us. Over the top, out comes Kelleher to claim it. Good stuff, Queeveen. Oh, again, misplaced pass! Rashford, 3 all For the love of God! For the love of God! Nunes, again! Absolute gobshites! Look at this, we're in possession! And he's, oh, he plays a square ball in his own half! That is stupidity. Darwin plays a square ball in his own half. And United go and score. Rashford scores. That is disgusting from Darwin. Square ball in his own half of the pitch. How can we be so stupid? How? That's basic stuff. Yet again. Letting them back into the game. He's taking Diaz off now to be replaced by Bobby Clark. Honest to God, lads. This is just... It's like we don't want to win the game. It's ridiculous. Darwin, how on earth can a professional footballer play a square ball when they're pressing him in his own... Release it! Up the line! Clear it! The amount of waste and stupidity. Oh, lads, honestly. We've done everything not to win this game. Was it Schumacher's? My apologies if it was Schumacher's. I just seen the man bun and presumed it was Darwin. If it was Schumacher's, my apologies. Sincerely. If it was Costas that played the pass equally, same, same thought process applies. How do you play a square pass in that position? Insanity like. Insanity. It was Darwin. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. Either way, stupidity. And we've given them away back into the game again. We should have killed this game off three times. The amount of overloads we've messed up. Oh, it's just, lads, it's mental. It's mental. I don't... I don't get it. Five minutes plus stoppage time to go. There's no one to blame but ourselves here, lads. No one to blame but ourselves. This is just so stupid.
Gakpo. Of course you done nothing. You just dwelt on it again and we get dispossessed. What is he at? Oh. United nearly scored there with McTominay. Lads, honestly, Gakpo, what is he at? Gets the ball on the far end of the pitch. Doesn't do anything. Just dwells on it till he gets dispossessed and we get counter-attacked again. Look, I know Gakpo's come in for a lot of hate recently and I've defended him. But today, it, it's hard to defend stupidity. Madness. Almost costing herself again. Gakbo. Out left side the Costas. Ball across. Ooh, straight into Anna's hands. I mean, any neutrals watching this, at least it's been a, an enjoyable one from that regard. But, oh, the nerves, lads, the nerves. Oh, here. Gakpo's bad, maybe low in confidence, but WTF said Benny. Mate, look, it's hard to... I don't want to jump on a hay train. And I've been very balanced on Gakpo up to this point, but... Oh, Jesus Christ. That's not even a foul. Again, Brooks can't give the free kick quick enough. So, sliding challenge, winning the ball. Found, fell. That's brilliant. Kelleher now in possession. 90 seconds of in or excuse me of extra time remaining. We've led twice in this game and yet somehow still we're looking like we're going to penalties for the love of God. Back with Kelleher. He goes long. Right, boys. Come on. Come on. Make the right call. Corner. Come on. Corner. Let's go. Come on. United fan here. This is horrible to watch. It is for both of us, mate. Yes. I'd imagine both sets of fans right now are um, heart and mouth stuff. Right, corner. Ball in. It's cleared by United. Edge of the box. Oh my God, we've given it away in the counter-attack. We've given it away in the counter-attack. Oh no, no, no. United have won it. United have won it at the death. Diallo wins it, we're out. We're out. Four three United and we're out.
go from a corner. It's like a type of goal we've scored so many times over the years. Counter attacked from our own corner. Fair play to them, but oh, lads. Red card for Diallo, it doesn't matter at this point. Two yellows and he's off, but who cares at this point, honest to God. We've somehow managed to grab defeat from the jaws of victory twice. Guys, this is honestly, this one stings. We got what we deserved, probably, if we're being honest. Brad said, prophetic performance. Jensk said, game over. Look, we got caught and we got beaten. I've no issues. United, fair play. But from our perspective, lads, oh my God, how do you do that? It's going to be a long international break. Oh, lads, lads, lads. This is tough. But, you know what? Fair play to United in that regard as well. But, oh. It's all over. The ref blows it up. Manchester United march on to the semi-finals. Liverpool beaten at Old Trafford by four goals to three after extra time. Fair play to Manchester United. Congratulations to them. From our perspective, oh, how did, how did, look, we've been on the other side of this, this season. We've been on the other side of late wins and we know what it felt like. Today, we're on the other side of a defeat, a late defeat, and we've got to suck it up and move on. It stings, but you have to learn your lessons in these moments, and we um, we just let them beat us, and it's it sucks, but look, fair play to United. I'm no bitterness in that regard. It was a good goal, counter-attacking goal that we've seen a similar type of thing many times. But from our perspective, it just stings, doesn't it? It's got to take it with grace, you know. We lost. We lost. It is what it is. We'll have to learn from it and it's going to be a long international break. But look, well done United. 4-3 win on the day. They'll be in the semi-final draw. And for us, well, it's going to be a long international break, isn't it? Until we're back with Brighton. We've... um. It's not our day. It's United's day today. And um, yeah. Sucks. It sucks. But we've got to learn from it. We've got to learn from it, lads. There's no point in being bitter about this now. Congratulate the victors and um, learn from it. 
we have to learn to take defeat as well and take it well and look fair play United did their job kept playing till the final whistle won the game late we need to figure it out right my friends we'll be back with our match reaction in a couple of moments time um the link's pinned to the top of the chat. Do hit the subscribe button before you head off if you haven't done so. Congrats to United on their uh, victory today. And we have to go regroup and figure it out. We'll talk to you.